Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the Great Dr. Bright, with uh, my friend Hatchet, and sadly, Daryl isn't here yet. I shall be Daryl's substitute <laughs> for this stream. I will be very underwhelming compared to Daryl. Oh my god. Anyways, are we ready to start this? No, there's no Daryl here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Ah, fuck what? I. No, fuck you. <laughs> Did you get scared? <laughs> that. Oh god, I hate that. What? Startle. Oh. Fucking startled me. The, so the story is seven, uh, substantially adapted from TRPG sessions that the developer played with friends. The TRPG script was originally uh, that uh, Miss Beheader by Mari Kuro. This adaptation has made with consent from Mari Kuro. Huh. The fuck is TRPG? Hell if I know. The story, all names and characters. Oh, text RPG, probably. Yeah. The story, all names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this work are f are fictitious. Any similarities to actual persons, living or deceased, places, buildings, or products are entirely coincidental. Tactical role playing game. Role playing game. Okay. What oh, uh, hel hello, uh, new, uh, Twitch manager XP. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Don't open your window, or else you will remove your head and make off with your lifeless body. <laughs> that seems like a lot of work. And before I oh, hey, Red Joker. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, how's it going, Red Joker? I'm fine. Oh, this is a new character. Who should voice Lily? I could. Or I could make her Albert. Oh my god. Uh, I'm good. Stuff in end before work. Alright. Well, yeah. well, glad to see you. Yeah. It's great to see you. <laughs> should I just... Should I make her Albert? Didn't you all make, like, one of the characters that's gonna be in the story, Albert? I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's been forever. I got like five voices to choose from anyway. But if you don't want, if, if you just want a voice here, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should I really go to Sally's house? I heal cat. It's Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's not cat. <laughs> Heavens, what made me jump is only a kitty. Oh, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, yes, I am Evil Spirit, and I say dot dot dot. <laughs> Is that a girl's head? A girl's? Oh. <laughs> I can't move. So dizzy. 
Evil spirit wants more says dot dot dot. Hill. <laughs> Random woman. Well uh, there, evil spirit. I'd watch your back by you. Oh, this. Oh, this lady. <laughs> We've got her attention now, do you think? <laughs> and some guy. <laughs> oh, rump. <laughs> he just beat the shit out of the head. The ghost. <laughs> I know this is Damn. supposed to be scary, but that was just funny. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. A lot of these, we end up making them more funny than scary at times. Yeah. Because all the stupid bullshit we pull. I'm giving this petite young anime girl character the big Russian man voice. He just turned evil spirits into jelly? Is ghoul. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Who even voices this guy? I feel like you voiced this guy. Right. Yeah. Evil spirit this early in the morning. Talk about a bad omen. Oh, I, hit, I was hitting uh, E when I was supposed uh, to hit X. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I'll pick up this jellied ghost for now. Wait, wouldn't it be impossible to punch a ghost? Uh, look, he's he's got the he's got the bullshit no jitsu. Okay, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> And now you're gonna hit on me. <laughs> I thank you both for saving me. <laughs> Lily bows her head in. A oh, wait, do you wanna read that? <laughs> Lily bows her head in appreciation. I just did my Pokédex voice that I used for the Pokemon Shades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did she get a heart? When I say that, I don't, I don't trust know. her. <laughs> well, you shouldn't. Do you remember these two? Right. There's a restaurant called Silversmith's just over there. We could all use a good meal to cover from that little scare. Oh my, I don't want to impose. What do you mean? Your pain, obviously. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I could see that coming. I remember these two. It gills me. I didn't expect a ref. I didn't expect the rest. <laughs> My train of thought got distracted by a couple things. What? There's just something popping up on the side of my screen. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect the restaurant to be open so early. God damn, I got I'm instinctively hitting E. <laughs> hmm. We've had nothing to be eat but a jetted ghost for days. You were eating them? <laughs> Wait, that that's just basically the exact same voice as the other guy. No, I've been given his... Uh, have I been putting him with the same voice? Kinda. I think I made his deeper. Maybe a bit deeper and a bit more casual sounding. Right, hold on. <laughs> We've had nothing to eat but jetted ghosts for days. Is that different? 
<laughs> it's different enough, but it's also it also sounds like you're trying to do like a Steve Urkel. <laughs> it's perfect then. Can I do that? <laughs> you two eat the evil spirits. Well, well, why else would our exorcist do a name be Ghost Eaters? Uh, oh, I hate this so much. <laughs> Please just speak like a normal lady voice or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, here we go. In the good a couple. Business partners. Make him sound depressed. <laughs> and now he sounds more depressed. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make him depressed now. <laughs> but my friends do, right? Uh huh. Not that I recall. Wow. Ooh. Jesus. So mean. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is... How the fuck do I say that? Uh, Jatterine Lee. Jatterine Lee? Please call me Jay. I figure it's cute, cuter that way. Jay, that really is sweet nickname. Damn it. <laughs> I was hitting X and Twitch chat wanted me to type in it. <laughs> what is wrong with you today? Shut up. <laughs> oh, whoa, my name is Lillian. <laughs> Are you serious? My, my name is Lillian Lily. My friends... <laughs> my... <laughs> my friends call me Lily. Who would name their child that? Well, you see, my parents, they like making, uh, what's it called when you have like three words in a row that's, that, that start with same letter? Hell if I know. I forget what that's called. Let me go look that up. Uh, three words. Dark thin leather. Burger says homophone or homonym. I don't know which <laughs> one, one though. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's alliteration. When multiple words start with same leather in a sentence, the literary device is used is called alliteration. That sounds rim and proud. Just like the flower. My thank you. Yes, a flower just asking to be plucked. Oh, that voice is like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Please. Something left grading. And, um, what shall I call you? Bruce Lynn. You can call me Brucey. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Brucey. <laughs> like I said, Bussy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's his name now. Bussy. <laughs> oh, hello, Bussy. I like you. You look... <laughs> We'll see. Sure. I don't know what else to talk about, Bell Awkward. The food won't be coming for the world. Perhaps I should look around. Go, go talk to people. Um, I, this is. Okay, listen, listen. I'm not from Japan, okay? But 
There is no way <laughs> that it is standard etiquette to, in the middle of a fucking restaurant, just get up, start wandering around, and talking to random people. There's no way that's standard etiquette. <laughs> Why is this the thing? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Have you ever heard of the evil spirit, Cannibal Boy? I like how the second I talk to this lady, the music stops and all we hear is ticking. <laughs> Tick tock, I've got a bomb in my ass. <laughs> he comes every night to tap on people's windows. If you ever open the window, he eats your body and leaves just your head. Why would he leave just the head? There's so much nutrients there. I would just leave the penis. What if the person doesn't have a penis? I would still leave a penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> from then don't worry about it <laughs> you just like keep a bag of severed penises with you what the fuck are you king david <laughs> maybe Booker says no you would eat the penis first i thought like a lion nah i'm gonna stop eating penises i've already eaten so much that uh i got a tummy ache This is where I've spent a considerable amount of my life. In this friend's room. I've spent upwards of at least two, maybe three years <laughs> sitting in a room listening to this. No wonder I need a therapist. <laughs> I dare you to tell your therapist what I just said. Uh, no. I will probably mention to my therapist, you know, I love Bray, but for whatever reason, the only thing that she uses as, like, quote-unquote humor 90% of the time is just the word penis. <laughs> the one joke. Gonna break their therapist's brain. I mean, how do you know my your therapist isn't a follower? <laughs> right. Yes. My therapist. Mm-hmm. A. Oh, I want to say late thirties, early forties, some year old, progressive Catholic. Mm-hmm. is almost certainly not going to waste his time <laughs> tuning in to watch whatever the fuck you'd call this bullshit. <laughs> so, oh, gee, that would be weird. Yes, that would be very weird. <laughs> but it would be funny if they just appear one time and say, Hello, Hatchet. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, anyways. I mean, that's the thing. I wouldn't be too bothered by it. It's not as if, like, like honestly, they would be... They, they wouldn't be gathering any new information from sitting in on these, except for maybe getting better context about the shit I say randomly. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. If the spirits are so terrible, why would the victims want to open the window? Oh, that's it. Those. Oh, you see, because people have the survival instincts of broken lemons. Oh, look, a record. I can record things. Oh, it's safe. <laughs> Congrats. Gods, what is this sound? What? Every time you enter your fucking menu, it's just like some 
fantasy laser sound effect. Why? <laughs> Old lady. Go. Just, just this past week, a horrible murder took place right here in our village. Something to do with with an Xbox 360. <laughs> As my neighbors, <laughs> they died. Oh my god. I, I, I swear I ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh my god. A girl was beheaded and her body was nowhere to be found. What a coincidence. That floating head. Was well, she the victim? Then, then. <laughs> old man Hackett has now become old lady Hatchet. Oh wait, Hackett. Why did I say Hatchet? Hackett. Oh, because Book wrote it as Hatchet. No, they didn't write it as Hatchet. I just read it as Hatchet. Oh, no, they did They did write it as Hackett. You're just dumb. Yeah. I misread it as being Hatchet. Nope, I'm dumb. Yeah, you're just dumb. Aw, little Fen Fen. Who's my little black boy? No, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, my sweet little boy. I hear another girl's gone missing as well. I do hope the police catch whoever's responsible. <laughs> oh, well, fun fun. What the fuck is USO, and why do they keep sending me fucking e emails about why I should send, like, over $200 to help troops? I don't know. Just ignore it. I keep deleting it, but I get, like, five of them a day. What the- what kind of spam bot shit did you sign up for somewhere? I don't know. I know. That's the whole reason I came here. Oh, yeah, because cause that, like, outside area kind of looked like the home of the girl and guy characters from the last game we played. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait. No, it's not a spam bot thing. It's an actual government email from the United, United Service Organization. Uh, Why the fuck are they sending emails? Oh, hello, Janet uh, Singa. How are you? Welcome to chat. <laughs> it sounded like you were eating your microphone for a second. <laughs> well, you see, my little fen fen is on my chest, and he sometimes decides to ram his side against my face. He's very weird. Alright, time I love for my him. perfect voice of this character. The selective service, they probably have you on their list. Well, I'll, uh, I ain't joining the military, so fuck them. No, like, what that's meaning is, like, they have you on their call list. Well, I'm not gonna... I have been getting a lot of calls easily, but, uh, uh recently, but my phone blocks them. <laughs> So, my phone blocks the government. <laughs> That's amazing. And thank you. Based phone, anyways. <laughs> she looks upset. And it is. It's a tiny bit odd that two new people in chat, and when responded to, 
One of the things they say is literally the exact same thing. Not, well, Janet Singh said it in fine, and yo. Yeah, it's slightly different. Look, maybe I'm paranoid. True, but we were bought it earlier, apparently. That's why we do have, like, you know, no alerts for the moment. I'll probably bring yeah. them back for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that botting has me on edge. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, my little baby. You don't look well. Were you injured earlier? Not quite. It's just that time of the month. I have it pretty rough, you know what I mean. Is that a bit better? Yeah, that's better. That's awful. Oh, I see. I understand very well. I have my period. You don't? <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious what they're alluding to. You don't need to just say it immediately. <laughs> you have the fucking self restraint of a toddler. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were saying. <laughs> right. Good job, this book. Ben, Ben. Ben, why do you slobber? Don't bite my microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Hatch is just having issues. <laughs> Do you hear that? No. He's just gnawing on the microphone a little. Why are you like this? God, I love this chewing book, ASMR, says book. Oh, oh, your breath is awful, dude. Stop. Book says, I think I heard it a little. That's good. He's also a very slobbery boy, I don't know why. When he's happy, he just slobbers on everything. Yeah. It looks like you were punching that evil spirit with your fists. But who? Oh, I guess there he goes. I, I don't think he likes Albert. <laughs> Bye, Fen Fen. It's kind of a superpower. I can materialize the spirits I touch. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that may- that sounds like a thing. Oh, can Jed do that as well? Oh, can Jed do that as well? <laughs> Hers is of sort of a telepathic power. But it's much more versatile. Is it just the two of you in the ghost eaters? <laughs> That's right. But a frequent client of, of ours, Lucia White, aka Lucy, also has superpowers. She owes us some backup if we ever need it. Oh yeah, isn't that the character from the first game? Probably. Oh, yeah. isn't that the one that has a split personality? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't remember any of these games slipping too terribly into the idea of fear mongering. You must be visiting from elsewhere. Welcome to Foot Footville. <laughs> All right, boys. Find out where I want to live when I die. <laughs> what? My my gravestone better be in Footville Cemetery. <laughs> Why am I being bonked? I'm not being horny. Also, when you die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could be being horny. I. My feet are a thing occasionally, but not right now. I don't think. Well, now I'm thinking about feet. Fuck. 
right feet only fans. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, I help. There you go. Oh, God. But it won't be I my hate feet. you. It won't be my feet. It'll just be pictures of Busta's feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the Busta footprints yeah. being brought back again. <laughs> Gotta show them beans. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I recommend you our excellent gift set of silverware. Feel free to take a look! This restaurant also sells silver. Oh, how unusual. The founder of this restaurant is actually a silversmith by trade. That explains why the place is called Sil Silversmiths. Oh yeah. Lily, our food is here. How come you're eating so little? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Book Princess Wow and Sore made from actual silver. <laughs> That shit would have to be actually very expensive. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Does it have something to do with the girl you're thinking about right now? Oh, she's doing tele telepathy bullshit. <laughs> Watch it, like every time you do telepathy, everyone just sees that. <laughs> like, ah. That would be funny. <laughs> just like a blindingly bright <laughs> flashbang light. Just like, ah, oh, yes. Now I see your inner workings, and everyone else in the place is like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> Just freaking out. <laughs> Anyone with photosensitivity issues is having a seizure. <laughs> you, you read my mind? Stay out of there. Too many kinky things. Yes, I do. I'm not in great shape right now. I can see her features too clearly. So can't. Oh, can't, sorry. If you have something on your mind, why not tell us? It might help. Well, I'm worried about my... I'm worried about my best friend, Zelda Sweet. I call her Sally. Uh, why does every- uh, Why does everyone have a fucking nickname all of a sudden? <laughs> That's right, it was Sally who, like, before we did the martial blackmail thing. Oh yeah, from the game right before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, she might be you know, she might be dating a very, very evil man creature person. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, kind of both. Yeah, I don't remember that game very well. Sally. And she's dead in a sack, uh, a killer. Yeah. <laughs> um, is something the matter? No. Keep going. A week ago, I got Sally. I got. Sally to confide in me about her concerns. Yeah, it is her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one he did Albert for. That that she was oh, yeah. Albert. So we just have oh, yeah, two probably. Alberts. 
Okay, that's fine. There can be two Alberts. Yeah, <laughs> You're so distressed. What's going on? You'll see. There's this boy I'm going out with, Marty. Two friends with the same voice, that's why they're friends. <laughs> I'm giving Stanley a slightly higher pitched voice. Yup, that's him. <laughs> Sally took out her phone to show Lily a photo of Marty. What? Um, when did you meet this boy? You know, that outbreak of human infecting rabies that happened when I was in Parrot City General Hospital? You would infected rabies. You would just say rabies. <laughs> uh, wasn't it like a zombie virus? Yeah, it was, if I remember correctly. Oh god, doggos. I hear doggos. I'll be back. Okay. How's everyone doing in stream chat? That's good to hear. My brain is tired. Oh, what the f What the fuck was that? I click over to see the stream and it's just like the robot guy. From Shark Boy and Lava Girl. It's a Tangia thing. Well, yeah, I'd guess that. Oh yeah, the robot is saying, I'm free. <laughs> And that is Max while if we still have the stream open. Oh, I ha I have Twitch up, or Twitter open. But yeah.
program. Oh my Oh no I just saw a video of there's there's some girl standing up on a ladder holding like a, a tray of paint and painting a wall and then some little shit kid marches up the stairs Oh hey Bright's here all right. Hey, Bright. Yeah. I just saw a video <laughs> of uh this this lady up on a on a ladder with a tray of paint in her hand, painting the wall <laughs> with a couch nearby. Oh. And uh, there, there's this little kid uh that comes up the stairs, and you've got like that old timey spy music that's like. Like the, the old timey spy hit stuff. Yeah. Or James Bond hits. And a kid runs in with what <laughs> looks to be a reasonable like like a realistically shaped nerf gun of some kind. Fires it, <laughs> shoots the lady in the ass, and she fucking falls backwards and all the paint hits her in the face on the couch. Oh my god. Yeah. But stream's actually gonna be shorter today than usual. It'll be at 10.30. Oh, okay. Because work called in while, uh, I'm gonna say something funny that happened a bit. So the reason dogs are barking because, um, fun, weirdly enough, at this time of day, at 7.24 p.m., uh, some people from Pete came at my door asking to see Busta. From PETA? Yeah. So why? I, 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 I didn't find out why, because I said, uh, do you have a permit? They said no, I and I slammed the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Peter's gonna do that shit where they quote unquote liberate a dog from a loving owner. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's a fucking service dog. Yeah. Uh. Don't worry, Daryl's gonna infiltrate their <laughs> organization. Yeah, we're gonna send Daryl in. Yeah. Daryl's gonna fucking chew up all of the lead <laughs> ass of PETA. Yeah. Anyways. Don't, isn't this scene lovely? Yes. Dog shouldn't be in service. Some PETA fool somewhere. Probably, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just flashing through moments from that first game, I guess. Yeah. He was one of the five of us survivors. And that's how you got into a relationship? Yes. Alright, but do you two really know each other other than at all? Actually, there's stuff about him I don't really know. The reason he was hospitalized was because he was in a car crash. It robbed him of his parents and his memory, so he's not even sure about who he is. 
Oh my, how awful. You can't blame him for that. I mean, that's true. <clears throat> then, has he gotten to know you well at least? Actually, that's the problem. He knows me better than I do. Whatever do you mean? He knows the area around my home really well. Oh wait, that's not- I, I just dropped the accent. <laughs> he knows the area around my home really well, and even knows about my secrets. Fucking collect anomalies. <laughs> That's just fucking creepy. You do realize he must have been stalking you, right? I can't force you to break up with him, but you two need to have a proper talk. You're right. Let me accompany you when you do. Thanks, but it's between Marty and me. Sally. Where she vanish? Where did she go? <laughs> <laughs> Will she really be alright? What does she mean it's between Marty and me? I knew Sally before he ever met even met her. I'm the one who fit. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got the gay. Oh, yeah, this is the series with the doppelgangers, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. We've got the gay going on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Justice for Lily. Honestly, I don't... Well, that's the thing. I don't remember exactly what happens, because I'm pretty sure both L Marty and Lily end up killing each other at various points in that game. You mean Sally and Marty? Yeah, Sally. My brain. <laughs> like, that game was a fucking royal shit show. But amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember it being good, I just don't remember it. Yeah. Well. Now we, now we both have just rewatched <laughs> that episode. Nah. Mainly to watch for. That's right, I'm using emotional blackmail. And <laughs> Booker <laughs> says they gave us emotional blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sally before he ever met her. I'm the one <laughs> fell for her first. But how could I have known that from that day on, I would completely lose contact with Sally? And then last night... In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone headed in her hometown of Footville. We have listed her boyfriend as suspect in this case. Why are you, why are you telling some random kid this, or however old these characters are? Why are you telling them this randomly? I think the ne next thing. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Oh well, like. You don't just immediately say X person is immediately suspect. You would want to ask, like, do you know anything about this individual, that individual? This bat is bad. Ain't good. Yeah. Do you remember anything that might help investigation? Someone got beheaded? So, uh, what? I need to go deeper. Deeper as Elbow. Someone got beheaded? 
and Sally's boyfriend is the sub. This is. <laughs> Billy's boyfriend is the substance. <laughs> Fuck. Billy's boyfriend is suspect. Maybe this happened because I urged Sally to have a talk with that Marty person. This cop is particularly incompetent. Well, yeah. If something happens to her, I'll never forgive myself. I stretch. Okay. Before I even realized I was on midnight bus to Footville, But when I thought about going to Sally's house, I got intimidated. Is it really a good idea for me to search for Sally? Wouldn't it just put her in more danger? You're just running away from having to make a choice. Bro, damn. I mean, is that wrong? I mean, yeah, it was just like fucking... Very blunt. What? I'm just... I, I had a boyfriend once, but he died because of me. Oh shit, he's gay? <laughs> or bi or something. Nice. <laughs> we got queer rep in this horror story. Yay. <laughs> or queer. Oh my god! Oh fucking hell, yeah. I forgot! Fucking forgot, yeah. And he was there murdered. Was, yeah, because <laughs> there was that cannibal boy that was that was dating the guy. I forgot about that. God, and that was like in the first one. I think that was in the second one. So everyone knows each other, yeah. All of these are very interconnected. Yeah. This shit's, this shit's a fucking weird-ass paranormal soap opera. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I hadn't chosen to be with him in the first place, maybe he would have not have been killed off so soon. But heaven only knows what our choices will lead to. We're only mortal. All we can do is choose what seems best at the moment. So what feels best to you right now? To search for Sally or not? Well... Oh. It's giving us a choice to save. Oh, fancy. Don't say anything. The fatal ending. Search for I... We can immediately get this fatal ending. Yeah, like, I mean, might as well. You don't say So that's your choice. Oh wait, yeah, Cannibal Boy also had the hots for the boy he ate. Yeah, I remember that. Um... Brain. Yeah. I was gonna say, I wish they had not included those brackets. The fatal ending. Yeah. Because then we could, like, have a chance to explore things better rather than just being told, hey, this is one of the endings. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. In the end, I wasn't brave enough to do anything. I just went to the town of Footville just to stand here and get mm. food. It's dark out. Please be careful going home. The police have already begun the search for Sally. I should... I should leave it to the experts. Besides, Monty could very well be the killer. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's a heckin' Marty. <laughs> huh? The figure slowly raised his hand to reveal the kitchen knife clutched in it. Wait, are you? Don't blame me. You should have been going about alone. The fatal ending. Psycho kill. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> well, whatever. And I got the achievement. It's, it's definitely not the worst word to say. It's just one that I think is best to avoid. Let's try that again. <laughs> fatal ending. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they did that because people complain on, on getting the endings. Yeah. But in that case, it's just like, like walkthroughs exist for a reason. Yeah. Like, uh, anyway. I, I want to find Sally and not get stabbed by a random evil thing. And that's what you should do. Thank you for your advice. It was very helpful. With great gratitude comes great repayment. A cup of hot cocoa will do. You bitch! <laughs> uh. <laughs> this fucking bitch! Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> Here's your hot cocoa! Without a word, Brucey pushed the hot cocoa in front of Jade. I mean, it's not a lot, yeah. He ordered it for who, then? You remember I always drink this when I'm not feeling great. Aww. Aww. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm just concerned you won't be productive. Ah, there it is. You know I like you better when you're a little frosty. Must I watch this? They're like an old lovey-dovey couple. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not bad people. Kinda. I think. I don't know. I don't remember the previous games well. well At least I think. Please enjoy the rest of your meal. I should get going to Sally's house. Wait a minute. <sighs> Jade stared intently at Lily. Suddenly, a human figure appeared in Lily's mind. Although there was static, the figure was most in depth definitely Sally. What? What this? Oh! And thanks for the raid, Ninji. And welcome Hello. to the stream. Thank you. Oni raid. Oh, woo. It's <laughs> Oni raid. Oh, woo. You don't have to freeze the whole thing. <laughs> Oni raid. Oh, woo. Oh, Oni God. raid. Ooh woo. I'm gonna Oni kill raid. you, Hatchet. I'm going to kill Ooh, you. <laughs> Oni raid. Ooh woo. Oni raid. Ooh woo. Oni raid. You, Ooh woo. Sake. Oni raid. Ooh woo. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks for the raid. Yeah, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. One could say, the Oni raid. Ooh, woo. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, Hatchet. What? <laughs> <sighs> what's this? Ooh, woo. I have the ability to share my senses with others. Including the images I have in my mind. Isn't this the girl you're searching for? 
You know Sally? Marta too. We're all survivors from that hospital outbreak. Plus, a few days ago, we received a message from Sally asking for help. For help? Exactly. So how about we team up to find her? Uh, internet. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back up. Okay. Very well, there's no time to hesitate. Job coffee! Or hot chocolate. She didn't hesitate paying the check either. It can't hurt to keep her with us. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Listen, we've already established that Brucey's kind of a fucking. like, a penny pincher. Wait. Didn't, didn't they say this restaurant sells gift sets? Perhaps they'll take one along as gift for Sally's family. Don't think you're gonna need that. If you're looking to buy... Oh, that's the wrong voice. If you're looking to buy a gift, how about a Nazar? It has exercising powers and only costs a thousand bucks. <laughs> you... <laughs> Uh, what now? Odd. I thought I had one. You so admired the last one, silly. Please tell me they're not con artists. Lee. Kind of, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. In the end, I used my credit card to buy one of the gift sets. Alright, shall we? Uh. Oh! I forgot it has trailers in the game. <laughs> See. Anyways, I'm gonna go what? take care uh, of some of yeah. me. Victim or perpetrator? Yeah. Alright. Okay. See you in Have energy. a good night. Being good isn't going to save anyone. Discover the truth. Sleeping pills! <laughs> Three possible endings. Well, we got one of them. Oh, oh, well, she's dead. Uh, we got that one. <laughs> Why are we spoiling endings in the trailer? I don't know. Oh. My God. We are at Silversmiths right now. Sally's hat is in that destination. Her direction. Oh, cute. What I find funny is one of the endings is apparently where Jade dies. <laughs> well, I mean, we just saw blood splattered on Jade. That doesn't mean Jade died. <laughs> Sally's mother, huh? Yep. Ah, don't you realize how early it is? What do you want? <laughs> oh dear, please forgive us for coming here so abruptly. My name is Lillian Lily. Sally is a very dear friend of mine. I see! The silverware gift set is a small token of apology. The expression on Sally's mother's face softened quite a bit. We heard that Sally is missing, and we're hoping to help search for her. Do you have any leads you can share with us? I promise we won't take up too much of your time. 
The police are already looking for her. There's no need for all of you to get involved. The very heavily comp competent, the, the, the super competent police officers that just immediately said who they were looking for <laughs> as a suspect. Not best investigation skills, but whatever. I trust the police. Right. Hmm. She sounds wary. <sighs> this girl seems fine enough, but what's with the, what's the deal with the two behind her? They look so suspicious. <laughs> I seem to remember that the club salad joint was full of oddballs. Maybe they're from that club? I see. I see it's us, we're not introducing ourselves right away. Sally is a member of the university club we're all in. I couldn't reach her for days and got very worried. From the club! I thought that might be the case! What a coincidence! I feel horribly guilty lying to sell his mother. <laughs> but still... I... I know we can't help much, but we want to do what we can for our friend. Please let us search for Sally. Come in! You see, after my husband died, I became obsessed with my beliefs and neglected Sally. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay. She had like a bunch of culty shit around her house. Yeah. Now that I've lost her, I realize how important she was to me. I'm searching for her too, but I have no idea where she could have gone. Perhaps if you, if you three have a look around, you'll catch some clue I'm best to pass. Oh yeah. Well, we know where the sleeping pills are. <laughs> yeah. There's something on that dresser. There's like a bunch of shit. Something in the kitchen. Some stuff in there. Let's, let's, uh, let, yeah, let's go from bottom to top. Yeah. But, um, yeah, well, I was saying like the two truths one lie, we can do that tomorrow for Garthic Phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't send a bookworm. If you're interested in that, you can join us. Yeah. And, um... After we do, like, one round, two, three, home live, we can just do a bunch of writing horror stories. Like writing spooky stories? Yeah. Got to take fun, okay. Sounds fun. Yeah. But how the hell does the two truth, one lie thing work? Alright, you know how you do the animation thing where you, ha you draw three times? No, I don't. That's a thing. Yeah, there is. There's a thing where everyone has like three three drawing slides. You do that, and then when it gets to reveal everything, we have to. Everyone has to choose which one's the tr the the lie, and whoever gets the most, uh, you get one point if you actually gets the lie, and whoever has the most oh, points okay. wins. Yeah. Garth phone would be tomorrow, right? So I work until 10 p.m. tomorrow. But that sounds super fun. Yeah. Sounds fun. I, uh, uh, I'll start streaming at like 10.30 to, uh, tomorrow. So but we'll be able to meet, make it. Okay, so 10. So then that would be... Oh, that'd be starting around 8 for me? Yeah. Okay. A little later than normal, but so be it. Yeah, I think it would be pretty fun. Uh, it sounds interesting. Yeah, I, I saw a bunch of YouTubers doing it. I was like, I, I was like, uh, yeah, that's fun. 
And if we like Kirby's it, we can do it again. Yeah. And plus, we can do a, a Halloweeny spooky story bullshit. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to add random skeletons to every story I touch. I know at the beginning of my first story, people are gonna say, "Why, bright?" <laughs> That's how everyone reacts to everything you do. It's not novel. <laughs> it's just the status quo. You found it an old newspaper with an article about unusual outbreaks of rabies. This is the incident Sally said she survived with Marty. I always assumed there was more to that story. Yeah, also, book rumors, music loud or anything? Well, two of you were there as well. What exactly happened in that hospital? Lily's no longer an outsider. Why not tell her? Alright. Started with a cult to perform a mass human sacrifice. They infiltrated Paris City General Hospital and spread a substance called the Undead Extra here, there. Alright, I'll turn it down once I'm able to. Undead Extract? People and creatures in the hospital turned into the undead one by one. Evil spirits, zombie dogs, and even vampires. Next, you're going to tell me there was a vampirical land shark, too. You think this I is... love land sharks. <laughs> you think this is a joke? Like some B horror flick? Bro, when you say it like that, it does sound like it. I must say, it's very difficult to believe. Until a few hours ago, you didn't believe there are evil spirits in this world either. That's true. In technical terms, we exorcists call what happened there a paranormal hazard. Paranormal hazard? Sally and Marty were trapped in the hospital at that time. Luckily for them, our client Lucy, the one I mentioned before, was also there and contacted us for help. That's what got Jade and I involved. We eventually defeated the Grand Mistress of the Cult, but by then we were the only five survivors. That's what actually happened. What? Ah. Alright. What a terrifying experience. And yet, Sally never told me any of that. Well, you wouldn't have believed it even if she told you. Perhaps, but still. that better book because I don't think I can go down anymore <laughs> why are you yelling what talking to my fastest oh. sleeping, sleeping pills that's this <laughs> Sally once told me that she suffers from insomnia and has to take sleeping pills her uh, issues with Marty must have made that even worse. <laughs> what? Alright. This kitchen knife reminds me of the time I visited Sally. <laughs> That's an odd item to remember your friend. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Fond memories with my friends, kitchen knives for cutting up meat, and other things, such as bone. <laughs> Lily, uh, 
Lily. My brain just died. L- why Why do there have to be Lily and Sally? They're so similar, my brain breaks. <laughs> okay, Lily is the character we've been following. Yes. Okay. One time, Sally invited... Oh, wait. Just, I could just read slightly into it. One time, Sally invited me over to her house to bake cookies. She, she creamed... That shit. That shit. He creamed all over my face. Much fun. That shit. <laughs> she creamed the butter and sugar together while I chopped up big chocolate bar. Ouch. Did you cut your finger? <sighs> Sally took Lily's hand to check how deep the cut was. It's just tiny cut. I'm fine, Lily. I contaminate cookies with my blood. All of, all of a sudden, Sally slid Lily's injured finger into her mouth. Okay, I know like that scene in anime, manga, and all that stuff. Wouldn't that be bad because bacteria, uh, because wouldn't it be bad to stick open wounds in people's mouths? It's probably not the most advisable, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on, like, the situation for, like, initial cleaning, but you definitely want to do something more than just duck on it. Sally? Homo romantic moment. I just started thinking, Homo like a, a, an artery gets cut, and the first uh, thing a person thinks of is just shoves the, <laughs> where the artery is in their mouth to stop the bleeding. <laughs> it just makes me think, like, you have a friend who's, like, part, like, some dangerous animal, and they see you're bleeding. Like, like just a tiny cut on your neck. Oh, let me help! And she fucking bites a chunk out of the neck instead of actually helping. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's not a... Uh-oh. Saliva contains histes, histes, hist, hist. Saliva contains stuff. You know, it helps heal wounds. I highly doubt that's true. <laughs> you know what? Let me just... Let me... Okay. Uh... Uh... Does... Human... What the... No, start... Type, you fucking dick. <laughs> Does human saliva help... What did the what did she say? Heal wound? Yeah, heal wounds. Okay, heal wounds. <laughs> Saliva creates a human environment, thus improving the survival and functionality of inflammatory cells that are crucial for wound healing. In addition, saliva contains several proteins which help a role in different stages of wound healing. Wait, so it's a good thing to stick an open wound in it? It's, uh, let's see, from, uh, HMP Global Learning Network. Uh, the antimicrobial effect of saliva is well known due to several proteins and peptides that act against bacteria to reduce the chance of infection. Sal- Salivary nitrate- Dis- disassociates its nitric oxide in the saliva treated wound and further attacks the local bacteria. So yeah, I guess I guess that's why there's like such a common instinct among animals to lick their wounds. It's like evolutionarily it's just actually beneficial to healing. Nice. Huh. So then, this 
a homoerotic scene uh, has some basis in reality. I accidentally cut my vagina. Would you kill your own? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, there's blood coming out of my pee pee. Come help me, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Booker's gonna bonk both of us. Oh well, no shit. <laughs> this is awful. Anyway. But but you're getting my blood in your mouth. Blood blood is filthy. <laughs> and this he is bonked the you first. They bonked you first, Booker bonked you first. This is the gayest shit. I don't care. It's your blood. Blood and mouth fine as long as your blood. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 First, you need to it, like tone it way down on the blunt statement. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> what kind of horny? That's the wrong voice. I don't know what voice that was. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of horny things do you think? Yeah. Let me into your horny thoughts. <laughs> what kind of horny thing are you thinking of? What? what are you a telepath as well? <laughs> you just admitted. <laughs> no. No denial. Come on, girl. I don't need I to don't be a need... telepath. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to be a tell about to tell that much. I have no other friends. Sally was the only one who ever cared about me. I lost the. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah! Oh right, that's me. The oil painting. Yes, portrait. I seem to recall. I seem to recall. Yeah! Is the deity of some new religious movement. Perhaps this is the religion Sally's mother was talking about. The painting is somehow unspeakably intimidating. As far as deities go, it. Leasing count on this one to hear your prayers. Why not pray for help in searching for Sally? What? Then you're a believer of me. <laughs> then you're a believer of me as well, Jade? Just like Sally's mother? Believer? Oh, I'm much more than just a believer. <sighs> Jade cast telepathy on Nia's portrait and then transferred what she heard to Lily. A language beyond human understanding instantly flowed into Lily's mind. What? What is this? A conversation between the added deities beyond this world. Jesus fucking Christ, lady! Uh, you just fucking hey hey you know it'd be fun how about we ex how about how about you know this new friend we've made like we we've known them for an hour how about i just telepathically beam cthulhu's whisperings into their head <laughs> my head it's 
going to explode. Please, no. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. I'll turn it off right away. <laughs> also, wouldn't, like, a god know, like, if, if a, a moral was listening to their conversation? <laughs> I mean... Look, this sort of question is really hard to answer. <laughs> it depends on the deity we're talking about. It'll be funny. The, like, uh... Like, what is the conception of deity? What's the personality of said deity? How does said deity interact with their followers? Is, like, outside magics powerful enough to poke into their little wherever the fuck the deities are? Yeah. Anyways, I, I would find it funny if... Um... If that deity was a master of mind reading but couldn't be... Couldn't tell... If their mind was being read, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. Yeah. Among the deities, only one is so considerate as to speak the human language. Can you hear what that deity is saying? You shall reunite this girl with the other one in my steed, Jade. Dead. But keep in mind, the reunion should be entertaining to us deities. That divine being is, yeah. Entertaining? What does that mean? We all die. It means blood! The deities want blood! Blood for the blood gods! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! <laughs> should... Should I be worried about Jade? Is it possible she could be dangerous? Yes, both of these two are pretty dangerous people. Yeah. <laughs> no, Lily, I'm not. <laughs> oh, that her face. eyes! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she looks like she's in the, a huge lime a lot right now. <laughs> she's trying to hide her lime, but can't. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you know what I hey, realized? By the way, I didn't go and talk to the mother, but what? Um, We're getting a, a lot of uh, flat chest representation in this game series. Why do you always comment <laughs> on characters' chests? Now stop, stop, stop. No. Too late. Uh, I literally just told you you forgot to talk to the mother and then you just sprint in while I'm saying stop and click on something. Oh well. Ah. Sally's diary. After finding a bit, oh, that that's Sally. Oh yeah. Yeah. After finding, oh yeah. After finding out about my three ex boyfriends, Monty's changed. I pleaded with him in vain. He burned all the photos and my old boyfriend. Photos of my old boyfriends and. Buried the ashes in a hole we dug on Mount Candy. Mount Candy? How? <laughs> Who Mount named Candy. these areas? <laughs> Got Footville. St stinking Mount Candy House. What was the other place? Like Cat something. Can't remember. Today, he forced me to go up the mountain again to help him bury more stuff. His eyes were all intense and bloodshot. What a control freak. Oh, I get... I get... Mess... My... 
Uh, hot buckets are ready. I will be right back. All right, intermission time then. I go acquire hot buckets. That this is part of diary. The the, the hot buckets in diary. Yes. All right, there we go. We're back. Ah. Why was I not informed that these pockets would be hot? You dumbass. <laughs> My lips is burned. Good job. I gotta give me a second. I gotta chop off this this end. Come off. Come off, you fascist twat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they're not just hot, they're scalding. <laughs> this is book. <laughs> A frozen in the inside, but no in between. <laughs> All right. The ass and head of the pockets have been chopped. When we were digging the hole, I accidentally broke a stone monument on top of the mountain. Then suddenly a chilly blast of wind swept by. I think I broke something that should never have been broken. It made me really nervous. <laughs> Bookworm. Damn, so no more eating the pocket's ass. Oh no, I'm eating the pocket's ass separately from the pocket. <laughs> What all Marty said was to not tell anyone about what happened today. <laughs> Talk about making a girl's heart pound. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Hell if I know. <sighs> Very late last night. Marty came and tapped on the window of my room and asked me to open it. I got scared and hid under my comforter. I sent him a message this morning asking why he scared me like that, but he replied he hadn't come over to my come over in the first place. Oh, I know what's happening. Doppelganger stuff. Yeah. That's not Marty that made her do that. No, it might be Marty that made her do that. Like what? I was talking about the bloodshot incident. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking like it could be Marty that did that or it could be the doppelganger. We don't know because. Right. Marty is also pretty fucking unhinged, because you remember. Yeah. Like, both of these characters are serial killers. When he said I might have encountered the cannibal boy, and that I should ask the ghost eaters for help, Cannibal boy? I did contact them. They can't come for a few more days. We're in the middle of another case and couldn't get away. So Sally asked us for help because of the cannibal boy? The visitor who, the visitor who sounded like Marty came in again last night, and I asked me to open the window. I immediately messaged Marty, but he replied that he was at home. I, it was definitely Marty's voice coming from the window, though. I thought about calling the police, but I got too nervous. Wait, why didn't Sally call the police? Because she's a serial killer. Right. Maybe Marty had something on Sally. 
Like scandalous photos, or possibly even worse. Jesus, Jade. Yeah, now I remember how Jade tends to act. Or perhaps Sally still loves Marty and didn't want him to get arrested. Oh, Sally. Lily is the only one I can trust right now. But if I tell her too much, I'll drag her into my mess. <laughs> too bad! And what advice did I give her? That she should talk to Marty. And that was it. Marty's coming to pick me up tonight and take me to his house. He said it's to protect me. Good. This is my chance to talk about our relationship. And then... Sally went missing. Alright, I'm gonna start the, um... The talk for the grandmother, but... Busta was out. Alright. So, I'll put it in our mission. Uh, Bookworm, uh, entertain the stream. It's- its name is Joel, apparently. There is a mountain in the football called Candy- Mount Candy House. Sally seems to go on dates there with Marty quite often. What? Why- why- and the text with the alert is what happened to Joel. <laughs> Mount Candy House. Why is it called for that? We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh my god. What is that? You don't know that? It sounds familiar. What is it? it? It's like with the, it's like the three unicorns. Like one is like annoyed with the other two, and then eventually at the end, I think it's like his liver gets taken. Charlie the Unicorn, early YouTube series, yeah. Oh man, I've never heard of that. It's, it's quite as disturbing as llamas with hats. Did you it, say it's not quite, or it, it is? It is. It's quite as disturbing uh. as Llamas with Hats. But I like Llamas with Hats better. Because that was good. Oh, it's made by the same people, too. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, that does sound like their humor. Yeah. this. No! I'm eating! And doing voice acting. <laughs> God, I love this thing. I love you, Festus. <laughs> Alright. It's not fair, it's- Ah! Festus! No! Get down! <laughs> Get down! Ah. I'm sitting in a recliner that I move up to my computer desk, right? And Festus has this tendency of just randomly jumping up back on, like, onto the back of the headrest. And it makes the whole thing start to fall backwards. Right. It's not very scenic, though. I don't understand why they like going there. It's to hide the bodies. Festus! Stop being a grouch. What? Hey, I never told you guys this, but you, would you like to hear something funny? No. Um, Microsoft sends me a computer report from my father's computer. So it sends ah. me a report what they're doing all the time. <laughs> oh. Like every month, it sends me a report. <laughs> hmm. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's... Very odd. 
Damn it, Festus. I'm trying to eat. I have things I'm doing. I love you, but please, fuck off. Anyway, I read this. Yeah. Oh. They... <laughs> Apparently they've been... On one what? day, spent three hours and 35 minutes on br br browsers. Uh, brazers, or whatever the fuck it's called. Browsers. Uh, browsers, yeah. The one place. Um, <laughs> listen. They're pieces of shit, but we shouldn't be saying stuff like this online. Fair. <laughs> Did you ever object to their relationship? No! In fact, I was all for Marty renting a small house in Footville so that Sally could move in with him. Who could have known Sally would go missing before? Oh. Alright, well, there's only one last thing to go to now. Package of certain JRPG entitled Hero King Quest Peacemaker Prologue. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, so Sully bought this game too. I swear, if this is if this is an actual game. I highly doubt it. Lily flipped the box over to look at the back. Oh, that's me. What's the story like? Well... There's this lady, a dark one. And a little witch who team up, and a really great at vil- A really great at vil- Damn it! Festus! this! Stop! Oh, please! Ah! Uh, Will the witch- What? Are you gonna say I something? I was gonna say, uh, Bookworm, yeah, that is true about an RPG game that, uh, that's gonna be the evil side is kind of cool, but I I actually do have the game series that you can be in, like you take over the world. It's Overlord, mm. and I s accidentally soft locked myself the first time playing it because uh. <laughs> you get like a select few minions at first. I sent them all to tackle down this house on their own. And I could no longer summon any more minions. <laughs> and I couldn't get in the house. <laughs> so, so I saw blocked myself. Good job. <laughs> no, I mean, being the evil side and shit is actually like a, a very common thing in uh, hentai games. Yeah. Also, or, uh, uh, kind of obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, also, in some games, being evil, you get better shit than being yeah. good. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game actually exists? Me. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna get this game at some point. I mean, it's not really a horror, is it? Well, I mean, I kind of play it for the horathon. I, I, I said it like at some point I want to get it. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Hatchet, go ahead. <laughs> I already forgot its damn name. Oh. And the greatest villains. You can even see them defeat some heroes. It's kind of a comedy that reverses good and evil rules.
It actually functions as a prologue to the Peacemaker series. I can hardly wait for the next installment. Oh my gosh, this is literally just a fucking ad. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> this is just... <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. How much? I'm looking up to see how much it is. Thanks, Buck. It is ten ninety nine. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It, and the next one, Dark Lord Peacemaker, which I guess is next, hmm. is also ten ninety nine. Opening fucking Steam. English language not supported on that one though. <laughs> Rip. Let's see, what's the name of this game? Peacemaker or something? No, uh, it's the Hero King Quest Peacemaker Prologue. You see, that's the thing. I can just type in Peacemaker and I get the whole series coming up. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh. oh, fucking hell. What? I- I fucking... I- I got jump-scared by the fucking trailer and- and fucking... Uh, oh, this thing. <laughs> then you've played this game, too. Are all of them not English supported except for the prologue or something? Mm. Oh, there's also a game that seems to revolve around, uh, Nia. Oh. Let's see, the Cannibal Boy was the first game. Yeah. Queso 2, Paranormal Evil, and then there was Extra Case, My Girlfriend's Secrets. That's the last thing we played from then. Interesting. Well, I I have followed them on Steam. Yeah. What the? Wait, what did I just press? Oh God! What the? What is going on? Ah! No! What did you do? What are you doing? What did I press? Steam. What? What did Welcome you... to big. What? Welcome to big picture. Before you start playing, here are a couple of useful tips. <laughs> press what? any button or tap the screen to continue. What? What the... did you do? <laughs> Access to. I. I <laughs> what is going on? Have fun. We hope you enjoy Big Picture. To return to desktop mode, go to menu, power, exit Big Picture. Where's Where's the menu? Okay, <laughs> menu. Uh, power. Uh. 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 Exit Steam. Confirm. You fucking... I went, like, if the button that activates that is literally right next to the minimize button. <laughs> this is a bullshit. Although I'll have to, I'll have to look into trying that out for, like, other games later. I have no idea what the benefits of Big Picture are. There. Anyway. I have... Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. It's just not the kind of game I expected either of you to play. Well, any girl wants to be a bad girl sometimes. <laughs> oh see. my god! <laughs> that I understand very well. That had nothing to do with Sally. <laughs> I just walked into a room, got an ad for a different game, and that's it. I love JRPGs. I feel like I can experience a different life through them. Yes, that is point of roleplay game. Sally was the first person I met who's into JRPGs, so that's part of why we became good friends.
Once Sally comes back, I'll have to ask her about her. At at. Mm, I'll, I'll have to ask her how she liked this game. Oh, that's a definite death flag. Shut up, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. No one likes you anyway. Oh my god, we actually had to go there. <laughs> we <We're> to continue. <laughs> I believe we've investigated everything we can. There were no clues gleamed from looking at game. Let's sort through the information we have. So why do you think Sally went missing? Could she have eloped with Marty? That's unlikely. Marty's parents both died in a car accident, and Sally's mother had no objection to their relationship. They had no reason to elope. Then do you think it had something to do with that cult? No, their grandmistress died in the paranormal hazard. Maybe Sally was out and about somewhere she could have gotten in an accident. Sally's hobbies are all indoor activities. Like baking and playing JRPGs. I doubt she would have gone anywhere like that. Then it seems clear to me that Sally disappeared either because Marty kidnapped her or because the cannibal boy. I have a feeling two endings are because we accused Marty of doing it and one because of the cannibal boy. I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Lily! <laughs> Why is that even a question? Monty did it, obviously. We don't have definite proof! Well, you see... <laughs> uh... Uh, the, the girl's gonna... Look, the girl really likes Sally, okay? She, she can be hopeful. <laughs> the only thing I'm hoping for is that not all endings are in those brackets. Like earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Brucey, do you suppose it could have been the cannibal boy? I think not. We spent quite a while in this area before and encountered evil spirits of all kinds, but even though the cannibal boy is so well known here, we saw no sign of him in all the time we were around. We literally... You, did be... <laughs> you didn't notice he was right next to the fucking Sally diner. Sally likes playing JRPGs. And you defeated an evil if spirit like that was a severed JRPGs, lady's head. Download Coincidentally, the Hero King Peacemakers in the same town today. where the cannibal boy supposedly recently struck um, also, Booker just used the Halo, Halo voice, um, to do an ad for the Peacemaker game. The Halo voice, like Master Chief? No, um, I don't know which type of Halo voice. Oh, also, it was the Halo symbol. Oh, it was like the, the announcer. oh yeah, Halo announcer, okay. Layer. Team Deathmatch. By Peacemaker. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Lost the lead. <laughs> Gained the lead. I, sus I suspect his existent. Fuck. I Lost the lead. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I suspect his, his existence is no more than an urban legend, and no such evil spirit exists. Lost the lead. Every time you, you say that, your phone goes off. <laughs> oh, you can hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Captured the flag. It would have been funny if your phone went off right at that moment, too. 
You have the ball. The ball has been dropped. <laughs> That's especially convincing coming from you, Brucey. Betrayal. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think we sh <laughs> I, I could just start reading her at the Halo announcer voice. No. Anyway, I think we should go to Marty's house right away and search for Sally. Lair. <laughs> there, now we can differentiate between Lily and Sally. We'd better not have done anything. Or wait, he, oh, lost the lead. Oh my god. He'd better not have done anything to hurt her. Or else. Betrayal. We just have one problem. Where's Marty's house? Oh, goddamn lag. We okay, better back? not have hurts. <laughs> Sally. Weed better not have hurt Sally, so it's like, is, is Sally doing weed now? Lost the weed. Gained the weed. <laughs> Perhaps we can find a love letter from him there. I mean, here. Fuck. Then we'll have his address. Who writes letters by hand nowadays? I do. Betrayal. Jade took out her phone and sent someone a video call invitation. Girl. Oh, this must be Lil- or, like, the other girl. Yeah. That escaped with in the paranormal hazard. What what voice should she have? Cindy. I was literally just about to do that anyway. She looks mm -hmm. like a Cindy. <laughs> Lucy, yeah. Jade, Brucey. Aw, uh, it's been a while. Lost the lead. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> in you. The blonde hair, isn't it? Yeah, that's a part of it, yeah. Hey, Lucy. That's Lucy. What kind... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of person is she? Betrayal. Let me cut straight to the chase. Do you remember Marty? The guy who survived the paranormal hazard with us? What about him? Could you please find out where he lives? Oh, come on, Jade. Do you really think I'd agree to pry into someone's privacy like that? Okay, fine. You know me too well. Just give me a day. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Uh. I knew we can count on you. Bye for now. Why must my face have hair? I don't like it. Hold on. Are you exercising evil spirits again? I can help if you need it. I've gotten a lot better at pyrokinesis. <laughs> This shit just gets dropped out of nowhere. Yeah. Now I can ignite things just by staring at them. Now I'm just imagining if so, some guy is just like being too pervy with her, she just stares at his dick and sets it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, boy. Let me just give it, take a moment to assess the situation. Looks down, stares intently for five seconds, his pants catch on fire, she walks away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're fine without you for now, but if we need backup, we'll let you know. God, God damn it, fucking, bookworm. God fuck. She, she fucking looked at the chat. Damn it. <laughs> Lost the lead. 
All right. I'll be waiting. Lily, you heard the deal. We'll have to go to Marty's house tomorrow. No, but we can't. We can't what? Take a deep breath and calm down. Getting all anxious won't help you find Sally. Lost lead. <laughs> You're right, of course. Perhaps we should venture up Mount Candy House then, and see if we can find any clues. Now you're talking. Captured the flat. So listen, earlier I looked around some major occult-related internet forums for information on the cannibal boy. You're convinced he doesn't exist, though. Why bother looking him up? Can't ignore the fact that someone tapped on Sally's window in the middle of the night. If it was Marty, why would he pretend it was the cannibal boy? That's true. So what did you find? There are some mentions of the legend, but I didn't find anything useful. Nothing at all. Lots to leave. Could it be the legend of the Cannibal Boy is specific to this locale? So there's no substantial information available elsewhere. Gain the lead. You know the best place to look if you want to investigate a local legend? The library. Oh, there's multiple places we can go now. I looked it up. King of the Hill. Mount Candy House is in that direction. Slayer. And there is a library called Hill Poly Library at the border between Footbell and Parrot City. Hill Poly sounds better for the mountain name than, <laughs> than Mount Candy House. Did I say hill? <laughs> At this point, we should probably save. Save the game. Lost the lead. Alright, Buckworm. Uh... Library or mountain? Capture the flag. Oh my god. Which base are we going to, to capture the flag? Oh wait. Mountain. I can go off the road. <laughs> off road and motherfuckers. <laughs> I can go on top of the trees. We are the trees. Weez. We. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weez. Weez. We finally climbed to the top. Slayer. What's with you? Oh dear. I forgot Jade isn't in great condition. Betrayal. I still feel miserable, but at least my powers are completely back now. Ah. Uh, I said I like you when you're frosty, not indifferent. Do you want to experience this pain too? Because I know I can make that happen. Let's not do that. Once was more than enough. <laughs> she actually made him feel what a parent feels like. Based, I guess. Yeah. 
So he's had it done to him before. Gain the lead. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone help me! In broad daylight, their malice must be exceptionally strong. That elderly man is in danger. Capture the flag. What are you two doing? Aren't you going to help him? Jade. Hmm? What do you want for dinner? You sack of shit. Uh... Betrayal. A steam cooked nice and rare, you? That's the, the you said a steam, not a steak. Oh. <laughs> Lost the lead. A bird has seventy percent pork and thirty percent lamb. I mix. I miss that texture. What burger is that? You're a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You only have fifty dollars between the two of us, so that's not gonna happen, sadly. Very well. I'll pay for both of your dinners. You sacks of shit. <laughs> they don't work for free. Good. You're learning the right way to ask for help. Fuck you! <laughs> right, again, you gotta keep in mind, these two are basically homeless. True. They just wander around, kill things, and it's really hard for them to get fucking food. They have yeah. to eat the ghosts most of the time. They're still shit bags, but it's at least somewhat understandable. Honestly, betrayal. No. <laughs> Dear, we won't make it. Attention, evil spirits. Peppy. You don't want that sneery old man. Just look at this nice, juicy little right over here. I don't like that. <laughs> um, Jade? Mmm, that look on your face, I love it. I'm trapped. Trail. <laughs> Good job, Jade. Now we're gonna make the target someone we can, who can pay them. <laughs> I respectfully disagree. But now the ghosts are in punching range. Spirit exteriorize. <laughs> um, is that a ball? You have the ball. Oh my god. <laughs> a spirit. It took on a human form. Let's go. That's Peppy. Get down. <laughs> Bookworm. Oh, it's his boyfriend. Aw. Aw. What? -a. <laughs> he turned them into jelly again. I hear Doggo. Doggo lost the lead. I oh, hear dogs. <laughs> I know we'll get dinner later, but it can't hurt to have a snack. 
this thing next to you? Is it an evil spirit? Why is it helping you? I prey on evil spirits and assimilate them. Then I can spit them out later and make them fight for me. If this were an RPG, you would most definitely be a villain. Well... <laughs> about that. <laughs> Victory. Defeat. Is the elderly man all right? Nelly, would you like to have some jelly ghosts? What the fuck? <laughs> um, no. Thank you. Betrayal. Thank you so much. What luck? You're a professional ex 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 exerciser, aren't you not? Not me, but these two are. Intel. You seem to know a thing or two about our profession. See this monument here? It's a cenotaph. I set up with Aster Exorcist 12 years ago for the children who died of starvation. Oh, so the Irish children. I'm sorry. I don't know what. Or the Palestinian children. <laughs> that was really fucked. Yeah, we both said fucked up things. <laughs> Mine is genuinely probably worse. True. Anyway. Would you mind telling us more? But Hatchets is more recent, so f more fucked. Yeah. True. As in literally right now. <laughs> I don't want to win that competition book. <laughs> it's just that that's been on my mind. What do you think has been covering my Twitter feed? I know, but oh god damn it! You, you skip my goddamn lads, you little shit! Oh wow! There's fear and this some some bad shit happened off in the distant past where kids were starving or some shit. Their spirits were bound to this area. And their vindictiveness grew over the decades. Finally, it reached a breaking point 13 years ago. Their ventures consolidated into a same into the spirit of a single boy and made him into a powerful evil spirit. Uh... Can you guess the name of the boy? Because he was abandoned as a child, he went around to people's homes every night and tapped on their windows, begging to be let in. His nightly visits drove his victims to mental exhaustion. Eventually, he got there. That's <laughs> such an escalation. Yeah. Eventually, he cut off their heads and ate their bodies. In just one year, he killed quite a number of people. Well, that sounds familiar. The fuck was that? Are you blowing on a pipe? <laughs> I'm blowing what? into a I'm blowing into a Pepsi bottle. Okay, I, I was wondering it sounded like you're blowing into a pipe. But why are you doing that? I don't know. I just am. <laughs> Lost the lead. Oh my god. You have a line. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He and the other children who honor these parts were no longer the same people they were in life. No line, only blow. <laughs> But merely vengeful spirits bound to the human world by their vindictiveness. And some little shits came up here burying bodies, and they busted my here thing that was keeping them at bay, and that let the cannibal boy out. That's the plot. The master exorcist realized that this wasn't a job for the police. So he came to this mountain to perform the exorcism himself. But once the master defeated the boy, the hate and resentment shifted to the ghost of another child. When the master defeated the new one, a different child took its stead. I see what you mean. That kind of evil spirit is actually one colony. We can't beat them completely unless we destroy the twisted spirits of all the children who starved to death on this mountain. It's like some kind of box from a JRPG. You know what I'm realizing, Hatchet? You with your what? Pepsi bottle? You're just doing you're just showing your B to blow skills. I have a feeling that I'm the only one who knows that reference. It sounds familiar, but I don't know. It's an old Markiplier meme. Oh yeah, I think you told me about that at some point. <laughs> when you want, hey lady, would you like to know my press, my the beat of blow skills? <laughs> he said that at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Rail captured the flag. Master was too old to help each child move on one by one. So he had to build this stenotaph to seal them away. It wasn't long after that the master passed away. But then, a few days ago, someone broke the cenotaph. So that's what Sally broke. <laughs> so I'll X to down, far. B to blow, F to pay respects. Any other letters we can map commands onto? T to bag. Oh my god. <laughs> L to lose, W to whine. Cenotaph for children who died of starvation. Lost the lead. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, I will be right back. My f one of my favorite drinks is strawberry milk a second. Slayer. Oh wow, there's a there's a lot of items. Library books. Let's talk to the. Do you have any resources on legends here in the library? Betrayal. Uh, Strawberry milk, is that code for an older red-headed woman? Yes. Oh, God. You can read for the librarian. Right? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to make double check. Depending 
on where you are in Canada, milk is called homo milk, depending on whether it's a whole or, or unhomogenized milk. Okay. <laughs> so gay milk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's from or human milk. It's from no, male it's... cows. No, it's man milk. <laughs> yeah, it's milk from male cows. <laughs> Depending on which we're using. Well, <laughs> oh, well, all. <laughs> well, the uh, the issue with that is homo means same. If it was like human milk, it would need to be something like sapien milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. The closest shells had literature on overseas legends, and the uh, ones further in are unlikely legends. Oh, I fucking <laughs> hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the symbolic role of silver in ancient Europe. Silver turns black when exposed to some poisons, so medieval people use silver to make tableware. Oh, I actually I, did not know that. I knew that one. Specifically, it was primarily used by very wealthy people. Yeah. They also believed silver was effective against supernatural threats such as werewolves, vampires, evil spirits, and the like. You want to know? You. Oh, what one was the same? Silver bullet killing. Huh. Huh. Do you want to know the origin of the silver bullets being associated with that being the thing that has to be used to kill a werewolf? Sure. So. It's, uh. What is it? I want to say late 14. or mid 1400s France. There is. a. A, a plague bes b befalling France, several different places, but primarily a district or region called Gévaudan, in oh. which there are constant uh, reports of a massive wolf-like creature mauling and maiming uh, townsfolk. Ah. Uh, this this is one of the major origins of werewolf myths, and uh, there were like three different supposed people who shot and killed it, and one of the most notable person who then had uh, the big ass wolf that he shot put up in uh, a museum uh, claimed to have shot it with bullets made of silver. Uh, there's a lot of theories about what it actually was. Almost certainly it was basically just uh, hysteria linking a whole bunch of different wolf attacks to the same creature, as well as just like some particularly big wolves, as well as the fact that some random fucking exotic zoo or circus at the time had lost a fucking spotted hyena. So there, there was a, there was a fucking spotted hyena running <laughs> around and doing hyena things in France. Nice. It also got shot. Oh. But yeah, that's that's the origin of the silver bullet stuff. Yeah. Silver is quite useful. Even an ordinary person like you can daunt an evil spirit. Just by wielding a piece of silver jewelry at it. Oh, then surely you use silver jewelry in your exorcism as well. No. But your telepathy can't inflict damage on evil spirits. Wait, was that set up? I don't think that was set up. She just assumed it. Yeah. 
Uh, Buster, are you good? I'm not sure if you heard him, but he whined real, uh, real loud. Oh. Buster wants to be the beast of Gévaudan. Buster, come on. Come here. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's, uh, in terms of, like, uh, deaths attributed to the beast of Gévaudan, it was, like, something like 150-some people supposedly were killed by it. Oh yeah, Adorna's here. Yeah. Hey, Adorna. Come here, Buster. Come here. Come here. Come here, Buster. That's a sad trombone for the people who got killed by the werewolf. Buster, come on. <laughs> Buster's not moving from that door. Emotional Give me. damage! Slayer. Lost the lead. We're not leaving the bedroom, you little shit. He's not little. Okay, you a nice comfy bed. I won't be long. I just got another hour. Oh, what will you learn? Your consequences. He's probably bigger than the right? <laughs> this book. Now. Oh. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Lost the lead. Right okay. Gain the lead. You have the ball. <laughs> Dropped the ball. I'm back. Capture the flag. What the dog doing? <laughs> he said. Right. Can you confirm whether or not Busta is larger than you? I, I am con confirmed Busta is smaller. You That's are smaller so than Busta. Fuck you. Right? You do know that the... Right? But you, you confirming it means that would mean that it's true. I said Buster's smaller, smaller than me. Than God damn it. You I say you, you'd have to die. Shut the fuck up. Anyway. I have my own tactics and besides. God damn it, I actually hit actually Yeah. Anyways, hatchet. Tiny devil confirmed. Shut the Lost fuck up. Lost the lead. What? If we had the money to buy silver jewelry, we wouldn't be stabbing out of town. I almost forgot that they were eating evil spirits to satisfy their hunger. Trail. Okay, well, so we got that. The evil eye in Turkey, the Mediterranean region, and other traditions. The ancients believed a witch or evil spirits with malice could cast a curse with just a, a look to weaken or kill a person. This morning, I couldn't move and felt dizzy when that ghostly head of the girl glared at me. Was that because of the evil eye? I think also, interestingly enough, yeah, you, you, you wear the evil eye to, to yeah. like, defend yourself. To resist the evil eye, you must fight fire with fire, an evil eye for an evil eye. A Nazar, which Im imitates the evil eye, was thought to be effective. In the Mediterranean region during the first century, the middle finger was another way of repelling the evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is that actually where the middle finger, like, being used on people comes from? I guess oh so. My god. How did it turn from, uh, be gone evil to, hey, fuck 
Yeah. <laughs> I guess be gone oh, evil. Okay, like I, I guess they have similar sentiments. No, yeah, very similar sentiments. <laughs> uh, Nazar, what's th wasn't that what you tried to sell me this morning? I didn't realize it was an actual thing. Deep down, you're still wondering if we're con artists, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Betrayal. Lost the lead. The Hill Poly Serial Murders 1. Oh, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> Whoops. Capture the flag. It has been 13 years since Footville and Parrot City, collectively known as Hill Poly, first experienced horrors at the hands of a serial killer. The killer decapitated the victims and left only their heads behind. Eerily, all the victims had mentioned before their deaths that a boy had come to tap on their window in the middle of the night. This sounds exactly like the legend of the cannibal boy. Don't tell me he actually exists. Oddly enough, there was no consistency in the victim's descriptions of the middle midnight intruder. One even said he had encountered a young girl. The killings continued regularly for a year when they stopped abruptly. Buster, get away from the doc Dr. Pepper. You can't drink Fan that. Fan theory. Fan theory. What if the cannibal boy was at some point also Lele? Who? Ashley, Lele, from the other game. Oh. You right. fucking imbecile. Right, your memory is shit. Yeah, I've already told you why it's shit, and you fucking know it. Yes, and we'll still keep bringing it up. Just like how what? we mock how you say axe. <laughs> we it's love you. I mean, it's fine. I'll just most likely develop early onset dementia. He'll be fine. Anyways, let's continue. Wait, don't you mean how she says ask? Oh, fuck yes. off. Yes. <laughs> hey, right. Halo announcer voice wants to ask you a question. I'm gonna end you. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Read your damn line. Betrayal. Okay. Oh, a lot of the sites I found on the middle finger referred to its history as a phallic reference. Oh, I could also see that. You defeat the evil eye with penises! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you just whip it out in front of the witch, I don't think they will stare at your face. They'll, they'll be like, what the fuck? Um, they either be like, what the fuck, or they just be like, ew, why? I mean, honestly, at that point, you might as... Like, honestly, at that point, you kind of deserve to get cursed. Yeah. <laughs> or worse. But it would be something I would sure they do. they would do worse than to you right then. I'm pretty sure they would do worse to you then. Sexual harassment is not a game. Especially not when harassing witches. Anyway, this is... Yep. How'd you go ahead and read your line? <laughs> or maybe whipping out your penis is what caused the witch to evil eye you in the first place. Uh, why did the victims have such different accounts of what the boy looked like? Doppelganger theory. The Hill Poly serial murders too. Why? Why? Why the fuck is this second part of this series on two, like a fucking two shelves over? Who organized this library? People who come into the library and somebody, are stupid. Somebody who's somebody who's never worked in a library before, and so you know that isn't me. Yeah. yeah. Two years. Oh, that. Oh. Uh, that that's just upsetting to me. 
It's like how, like, uh, if, if you ever, uh, go throughout the big library in, uh, the College of Winterhold in Skyrim, mm -hmm. and you use console commands to unlock the, uh, bookshelves, if I remember correctly, a lot of the bookshelves just have, like, repeat random copies of different, uh, books from different series throughout the game's possible books. And you'll, like, look in one shelf and, and like, uh, The Wolf Queen Volume 4, and then look on a shelf in the opposite end of the library, and it's The Wolf Queen Volume 2. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they they didn't actually program consistency in that. Oh yeah, I know. But yeah. Anyway. No, no. The, the thing I'm saying about the oh. fuck you is there was a there's a uh, there's some like um comic strips mm -hmm. on Twitter. Wow. That say non bony No to all boners. Oh. What? It's apparently by like a fascist, but oh well. It's just so funny to me. It's just like what the fuck? Very under its woke force. Okay, Bookworm says, So I found something about the fig sign from Wikipedia. <laughs> the fig sign is a mildly obscene gesture that uses a thumb wedged in between two fingers. The gesture is most commonly used to ward off the evil eye. So they just. It didn't properly describe the fig sign in that book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay, to be fair, it is. It was probably the programmers. So, they well, probably. Yeah. So, like, prob they probably took that picture, whatever, or, what, or some. Uh, a picture of it. And weren't. didn't see. look at it very clearly. So, yeah. So, they didn't see that it was. Um, they didn't see that, like, they didn't see how the fingers were overlaid or whatever. Yeah. But anyway. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, sp uh, before I do, before I do, do um, I remember in one library that I had, that they got rid of one piece because it was provocative. But in the children's section, when I was looking at uh, manga that was in there. I saw a high school mm -hmm. DXD. What the? F wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I know that I know that one piece is provocative. I've seen like clips from it, but. Hmm. Hmm. Moving on. <laughs> Betrayal. Yeah. Two years went by without incident, but another string of decapitated victims terrorized Hill Polly once again starting a decade ago. The victims were decapitated as before as before with their limbs and torso missing, but this time evidence suggested that the neck was severed using teeth leaving the police to suspect the killer to be a cannibalistic. Be a cannibalistic? <laughs> Shut up. Lost the lead. Investigators speculated that the killer didn't eat the head because of the high level of prions in the brain, which can de cause degenerative brain disorders when ingested. I remember. Wait, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna like look that up so we can like learn something. Meh. Okay. I did good. I, rem um... I remember these killings very well. We were freshmen at Parrot City University then. 
you both went to a university in this area? We did. The murders continued intermediately for eight years, with a frequency of about two incidents a year. But then two years ago, the killer suddenly. Ryan. Okay. What? It's, it's pronounced pri It's pronounced prions. Prions. Okay. The, so the, you're correct. I, I was correct. Oh sweet. Yeah, you were correct in your pronunciation. It's pronounced prions. Yeah. <laughs> pronouns. Prions. Prions. Pronouns. Oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Crayons. Oh my angel. <laughs> the killer suddenly stopped killing again. You know what? That, that's what I'm gonna call my pronouns from now on. <laughs> Prayons. Oh yeah, it's back to this hatchet. Oh, what voice did I give this guy? Uh, his voice can oh, change. Ugh. If you haven't already used it, I mean... What? Oh, I said, if you haven't already used it, give him Russian. Oh, we, we already have Russian voices. Oh, yeah, we, we... Yeah. In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone got beheaded in her hometown of Footville. You, you, you better... You forgot the... You forgot the oink. Oink. <laughs> And now, two years later, the killer is back. It robbed him of his parents and his memory, so he's not even sure about who he is. If Marty doesn't remember his past, Betrayal. The Hill Poly Serial Murders 3. Again? Why? <laughs> it's just the third volume on a shelf, two shelves down. Yeah, anyway. The general I want oh. to punch that librarian. <laughs> the general assumption is that the same person committed all of the murders over the entire 11 year period, but some have pointed out that the second string of murders may have been a copycat crime. First, the frequency of the murders differed significantly. Second, the first round of killings, the heads were severed with an unusually clean cut as if sliced off with a very sharp blade, and there were no bite marks. However, the police have not been able to investigate this possibility due to a lack of suspects. What could anyone hope to gain from copying such a gruesome modus operandi? Yes, why would anyone do that, Brucey? How would I know? Maybe to pin the blame on the first killer? Hill Polly Daily One girl missing, another decapitated. Is the Hill Poly serial killer at it again after a two year hiatus? Um, it's Sally. The traitor. This other girl is the ghostly head I saw. So she really was the victim. May her soul rest in peace. Only one left. Oh yeah, and by the way, Adarna, you you would have missed it, but it's pretty clearly established that Lily and Sally, well, at the very least, Lily has the hots for Sally. We have no idea Sally's opinions on Lily. On Lily. Yeah, though 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 Sally is in a relationship with a serial Lily. killer, so. Wow. Aren't, aren't they both? <laughs> oh yeah, they're both serial killers. But... <laughs> I guess that detail is kind of important to mention. 
Yeah. <laughs> this series is basically nothing but serial killers. By the end of this, 100%, Lily's probably gonna kill, like, five people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Without Bright's help. <laughs> the Legend of Mount Candy House. Oh yeah, and there's a mountain called Mount Candy House. There is a giant rock on top of the mountain that resembles a house made of candy. Hence the name. Footville is is so named for being at the foot of the mountain. Long, long ago, the village was said to have suffered from a great famine that lasted three years. The villagers were forced to slaughter their own their work animals and eat grain reserved for planting the following year. Ultimately, they took their children up the mountain and abandoned them in order to survive. Why not just kill the children and eat them? Right? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up! We ain't fucking orangutans. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of species that do that. But listen, listen. Humans mm -hmm. have this tendency to, at all costs, not want to eat their children. So many children were abandoned that before long, everything edible on the mountain had been consumed. Many children starved to death, and those left alive had to make the terrible choice of consuming the other's corpses. The children left the heads intact as a way to mourn the dead properly, but it was all in vain for every last one starved to death in the end. You know what would be really tormented if they put the heads on stakes? Why would... Uh, <laughs> why? Why would you just randomly <laughs> bring them up? <laughs> <laughs> and why uh, would they do that? Like you know the cro the wooden cross stakes. That's all I was I was thinking. Yes, we we know. We know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's just why it's not that sort of situation. Ever since it it is said that Footville and a neighboring. Parent City are haunted by the vengeful spirits of the children. Lost the lead. Then these children who had to eat human flesh became evil spirits. And that's literally everything here. Oddball. Team Deathmatch. Yeah, that's the exact same shit. Capture the flag. Well, they're all gray, which means we read it all. King of the Hill. Ah. Let's summarize what we know. Ages ago in Hill Polly, a bunch of children were abandoned and left for dead. After they died, their thirst for vengeance got concentrated in the spirit of one boy. Be the boy beheaded lots of people and ate their bodies. That was 13 years ago. Ultimately, an exorcist sealed the boy away using that cenotaph we saw on the mountain. The boy is most definitely the cannibal boy. Then a few days ago... Marty went to bury Sally's past boyfriend's things on the mountain. He forced Sally to accompany him, and Sally ended up breaking the cenotaph. After that, something resembling Marty started coming to Sally's house in the middle of the night to tap on the window, just like the cannibal boy. And Marty insisted that it wasn't him. And Sally visited Marty's house and disappeared. Plus, there was a murder this week where the victim was decapitated and her body went missing. So 
So what on earth could have happened? This is all very confusing. Could it be that Marty is copying the cannibal boy? All the victims had different descriptions of the cannibal boy before they died. Why? Well, isn't an evil spirit capable of manipulating different people by possessing them? Why do I have all of this fucking information? Where did I get it? Perhaps that happened to Marty. Hmm, now that's an interesting hypothesis. We don't have any decisive information yet. I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Lily. For now, let's eat some dinner to recuperate. Lost the lead. Save the game. Well, we definitely have to go to the shrine in the hospital and whatever the fuck those other two places are at some point. What? Like, up here. And oh, okay. over here. And whatever the fuck these two places are. Oh, we don't know. We'll have to go there. Or this place. That looks like a prison. I can also see it looking like a castle. Kinda. Yeah. Watch Marty actually be in the prison. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Marty's just eating people in the prison. Yes. Maybe buy another another silver set to protect yourself. Mmm. Steak really it is best cooked rare. You're not eating again. I really don't mind treating the both of you to dinner. But when evil spirits were attacking that old man, shouldn't you have prioritized saving him? You're professional exorcists, after all. Blood money. That's exactly why we expect compensation for our services. If you're good at something, you never do it for free. But a person's life is priceless. It only costs you a meal to save that priceless life. I doubt you'll ever find a better deal. That is not what I mean. Lily, you're a good person. But being good isn't going to save anyone. Not even yourself. He is talking from experience. It was reckless of you to rush over to help that old man like an idiot. If we hadn't been there, two fools would have died on that mountain today. Oh, don't be so harsh, Boozy. As fools as she was, Lily was the perfect decoy. That old man would have died otherwise. And what you said isn't harsh. That was quite reckless of me. Oh, wow. Lost the lead. Oh, we only have 30 minutes left. Five minutes remaining. I don't know why, but when I look at the back of the character's head, like the female main character. I get the impression of a bald old man. I was thinking of an ice cream cone. 
I can't unsee it. I don't like you. <laughs> you can't unsee it now. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of ice cream. <laughs> Betrayal. Anyway, we might end up... You might be up against the ever unpredictable cannibal boy. Be aware of your surroundings. I'll try my best. Oddball. What the fuck? I can't even protect myself. I'm dragging everyone else down. Maybe I should go purchase some fucking silverware. There's no need to feel inferior. Why did I say inferior like that? Racism. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Capture the flag. <laughs> what the fuck? Jade? It is not possible to properly do a questioning tone in the Halo announcer voice. <laughs> Your determination to find Sally will surely bear fruit. I do hope so. But what kind of fruit I get to decide? You're a bitch. <laughs> we have to go to Mari's house tomorrow. Let's call it an early night. Apparently there's a place to stay nearby called Foothill B&B. &B. It costs a hundred dollars a night for a twin room with breakfast. Lily, can you split a room with Jade? Certainly. But what about you, Brucey? I can sleep by the roadside. Um... If you don't mind me offering, why don't I lend you the money? That won't be necessary. What? I got you to pay for two of our meals because you owe owed us twice. But now that account is settled, so I can't take anything from you. Not even if it's a loan. But... Don't mind him. He's stubborn about his own principles. And that's why we're always broke. <laughs> or maybe you would rather sleep with Brucey than with me. No, no, not at all. Then it's settled. Oh, don't worry. I'll be very gentle tonight. Wait, what? Lesbian. Uh, I'm going to go to the register and buy another cutlery set. There's a silver table knife in there. Well, uh, what am I, an evil spirit? Also, how much money does the main character have? <laughs> I have big allowance from my father. <laughs> The Oil Baron! Oh my god. Oh my god, for tomorrow for the Gartic, uh, the Gartic phone, there has to be a horror story about the Oil Baron. Oh yeah, Derna, did you hear what tomorrow is? Uh, if I'm there, I'm gonna be like, probably like two hours late at least. It starts at 10.30pm. Which is 8 my time. So uh, probably... Yeah. Probably, possibly one hour late, then, I guess. Well, then gotcha. you'll probably be there for the horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got a uh, bookworm coming in at that time. Yeah. Me and Bright. And Jerry. And then, yeah, Jerry's going to be around, so. We'll have That'll four. Be... <laughs> we'll have four, that'll be enough. And then once you arrive, we shall do many horror stories. I will intrusively add random fictional monsters into every story I touch. 
you will be able to tell that it is my addition to a story when there's just a line that's something like, and then the skeleton appears. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, I hatchet your line. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, question. I would love so, for that to be put in an actual Halo game where the announcer yeah, okay. just says, I am a lesbian. Well, Quote that quote. They could oh, pull it and write into a Halo game. Yeah. Because he has said that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's, oh yeah. Trying to think, isn't the uh, the voice actor for Master Chief on uh, oh what is it called? Oh, that no, the, celebrity the, thing the, where you ask people to say shit. The voice announcer like said trans on like, you know. yeah. Uh, anyway. Although, technically, I wasn't doing Master Chief. I was doing the announcer, yeah, which well, is... No, no, the, the, the announcer was the one who said trans rights. Oh, the announcer said trans rights. Yeah, the, the announcer said trans rights. So you oh, could literally say sweet. trans rights in his announcer voice and be correct. Trans rights. <laughs> I purchased the knife. Let us get going to our lodgings. Okay, that that girl means business. Better Let's watch see. out so you don't get stabbed. Yuri. Also, um, to, to our lodgings, um, um. Brucey doesn't have a lodging, so it will just be Ben Sue going into a lodging. We're going to lodging, and Brucey has the lodging known as that hostile architecture bench outside. <laughs> After bidding Brucey goodnight, we settled into the B&B. &B. Where we took turns showering and went to bed early. Having trouble sleeping? Betrayal. I'm not used to staying overnight. Haven't you ever gone on trips with friends? I don't have friends. <laughs> I've always been shy. Sally is my first friend, and I didn't meet her until college. Jesus fucking Christ, my life is a lonely one. Then how did you get to know her? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. Yes, you do. <laughs> You don't- you have no right to say anything like that. Penis. Exactly. <laughs> we were doing a group project together in a freshman biology course. One day, a blood mobile. What? A blood mobile. Oh, blood mobile. <laughs> Blood mobile. It's it's just like one of those things to put above your kid's nursery, except it's just a bunch of IV bags. Yeah. <laughs> Do that for a vampire baby. Oh my gosh! If we ever, when we go back to playing Borderlands, we use the red car. We call it the Blood Mobile. <laughs> Yee. All right. One day, a bloodmobile came to campus. I went to donate blood and happened to run into Sally. So we chatted for a bit. As much as, blood. I, would, as, much as I would love to donate blood, I just have mental trauma with needles from doctors. Rip. Solid. 
Also, I was hmm? I was checking to see if I was un too underway to 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 um donate blood. Yeah. S sadly, I'm not too I'm not too underweight, so I could. Oh, did I ever tell you guys why about it? This mm, sounds familiar. I don't think so. Okay, so I don't know. know. Yeah, when I was really okay. young, probably around seven, I believe. If I remember correctly, it was a while ago. But um, this doctor, instead of putting like the needle in slowly like you're supposed to, um, oh it, god, they jabbed it into me like five times and then injected me with it. Wait, like, is this like? Like, what kind- like, what was actually being done? I was supposed to get, like, a flu shot. Why would- That's just- Why? I don't That's know. That's just medical malpractice. Yeah, they- they <laughs> yelled at me when I- when I told them it hurt. Is That really is medical malpractice. Jeez. Yeah, they're telling me to stay still. <laughs> I wasn't moving the first time they jabbed it in me, but after that I was like, fuck you, get the fuck off me. Ah. Uh. I had several band-aids. But now I can't I can look at like sewing needles just fine or any other needle. It's just like, the second I see a, sh a shot, it's just yeah, no. Like hypodermic. Yeah. That's yeah. uh Fucking. Oh man, how do you get be... your uh? How do you get your vaccine shots then? Oh, um, I went, but I refused to look at the doctor or the shot. I just turned away. As long as I don't see it happen, I'm fine. It's just that it looks weird because I'm looking far away. <laughs> well, I mean that's the thing. Doctors like, like fucking fear of needles is one of the most common things a lot of doctors have to deal yeah. with. Yeah. So, I'm sure that, like, I, if they I, were at all reasonable. Mm -hmm. Right? To say no, I have, a, I also have a fear of needles. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're not alone. Famous YouTuber not the for, like, just not, not, not for justified reasons like you have. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually, I have I have a phobia. You have justified reasons. Well, I mean that's the thing. Like, what Bright deals with here would be called a phobia, because like, like it's trauma that caused it. But like, it's still like fundamentally a fear that's not particularly rational oh, yeah. because the average person, like, like it it's obs like. It's actually absurd that that even happened at all. Yeah. Like, it's very rare. <laughs> but, like, it's an understandable source for said uh, phobia. We need to... Well, actually, it depends. My brain. But, yeah, anyway, you are also... Sh you also share something with uh, a famous Swedish YouTuber, The Click... <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> who who famously, like, couldn't actually play through much of anything in Mortuary Assistant, or in Mortuary Assistant, because it was all of his phobias combined, and he at one point almost passed out on stream. Oh, God. Anyway. But yeah, anyway, I guess... I guess more of the story is, uh, kids, if you want to, uh, go into a profession where you get to stab kids with needles randomly, uh, <laughs> become a doctor. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. When I was younger, no 
hypodermic needles. They just stuck you with some sewing needles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Another thing that I'll never do, eh? that was also a bad thing from the doctor, is when they first came up with those, like, nose sprays that, that do the vaccine, mm -hmm. it immediately gave me the swine flu. It didn't uh. prevent me from getting it. I immediately got it. Yeah, that just sounds like a faulty immune system thing there. Well, I wasn't the only one. Like, in my state, like, when they first tested it out, like, I think it was like 35% uh, of people got infected with it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, um. it was... It, it. It's not really much done in my state anymore. <laughs> it's... Wait, so... So, I guess they might have given you faulty vaccines or something? Yeah, oh that's God. what I was thinking. It sounds like a big chunk of faulty vaccines where the virus wasn't properly dead before put into the stuff. But anyway... Yeah. Look, you have B-negative type blood too? If I ever need a transfusion, I hope I can count on you. Blood. Well, I certainly hope that won't ever be necessary. I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Later. What kind of things do you do in your free time? <laughs> I like to play Halo Infinite Online Mo- Oh my god. No way. Which ones have you played? These two just kind of look like some lesbian couples I've seen, too. We've got a cottage core and a lazy... <laughs> and, like, lazy uh, pajamas lesbian. <laughs> we talked about all kinds of JRPGs. From AAA to indie game. What's the... I... When you say AAA, it makes me think of the fucking company, not... What games are those? I don't know where it came from, but AAA games are like the really big budgeted ones that are put out by the biggest producers of video games. Oh, uh, like from EA or like Activision Blizzard or something like that? Stuff like that, yeah, I believe. Oh, I could okay. go search and see what it actually means real quick. We could. Yeah, go ahead. What? Does triple A get well? No, no, it's not not that triple A. The first thing that came up was American Automobile Association. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> games mean triple A games mean in the video game industry, triple A is an informational classification used to classify video games produced and distributed by a mid-sized or major publisher, which typically have higher development and marketing budgets than other tiers of games. Yeah. So yeah, it's just stuff that's made from by bigger people. One of the first things asked is, is GTA 5 a triple A game? As one of the most expensive games ever made, working on worked on by hundreds of people. Yes, GTA 5 is a triple A game. Yeah, any anyways, uh Aderna, there's something I wanted to tell you. What? Would you like to see Daryl? Okay. <sighs> Gain the lead. I gotta ask, how convincing is that voice? That's pretty good. It's a good voice. Yeah, it's like, pretty good. Like, compared to, like, the proper one. Yeah. They did Daryl perfectly, Aderna, as you can see in that reactive image. That 
that I'm going to use when I get my model. Cute. Little yeah. chibi Daryl. <laughs> yeah, chibi Daryl. We no, you cannot not love Daryl now. Oh, fucking lag. Discord it lag. Looks cute. Jerry is playing a hundred percent orange juice. It, to me, it just says gay harem lord. <laughs> 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 maybe it's because I'm streaming. Yeah, maybe. Anyway. Yeah. After that, we... Oh, what the... Oh. Oh. Oh <laughs> my goodness, thank you, Bookworm. I appreciate it. Bunch of subs, hell yeah. Shout out to the billionaire known as Bookworm. Capture the flag. <laughs> Wanted to have the number hit 10, lol. 15 more, and I'll get Daryl emotes. I have depression. <laughs> <laughs> That's another clippable moment. Yeah. My father left when I was two. Oh, God. After that, we started chatting all the time and became best friends. Lesbians. She also introduced me to her club and encouraged me to meet more people. Sally turned my life around. I wonder what kind of club it was. Sally's mother thought it was full of oddballs. I see. Well, common entrance. Entrance. <laughs> That's a common entrance. <sighs> I see. Well, common interests are great for shaping friendships. Right. Actually. To me, Sally is much more than just a friend. I know. I can read your mind, remember? I didn't have the courage to tell her because I was scared of ruining our friendship. I thought as Great. long as her... <laughs> You broke catch with that. I'm doing the big serious voice. <laughs> and it's just in the background. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, these bitches gay. Good for them. So what? <laughs> True. Well, at least this bitch yep. gay. Well, oh, I... from, from what it sounded like, the... the... The girl I want uh, uh, wait right across from her might also be gay. Yeah. Also, probably once or we die. get through this stream will end because it's ten twenty four. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, are right. you okay, Halo announcers? A clip Bookworm sent me. <laughs> <laughs> did did Bookworm get the lesbian one? I don't I'm guessing know. not. <laughs> no, I... no, 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 the thing he need he needs to get the gay one. Yeah. Where you're doing the Halo announcer and I just say They said the uh, book was said no. Gay. Damn. Right. Anyways. Yeah, because I, I feel like that's Don't actually worry. genuinely I, I feel like the lesbian one was genuinely one of the best gags I did tonight. Right. Just like, just complete silence for a second. <laughs> and then it's just, let's be it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and finish your line. I thought as long as her boyfriend made her happy, that was fine. Lost the lead. But Marty failed to protect her. Dropped the flag. Oh my, I'm sorry. I've just been talking about myself this whole time. 
It's not about you anymore, Lily. Say you have another friend here right by your side. I don't like you. <laughs> You're not the bear all this by yourself. We can rescue Sandy together. Jade. Oh my god. <laughs> Bubble Crumb got gay. Gay. <laughs> oh man, well it can be brutal now too. Yeah. Actually, I'm not really sure I can think of you as a friend. Hey, what? That's very sweet of you, but I'm very sorry. Betrayal. Jeez, don't apologize. Oh, fine. I was never fit to make friends anyway. More of a girlfriend, right, Lily? God damn it, but I'm, po I'm polyamorous. Get in the polycule. You're a believer of Nya. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. You're a believer of Nya. Though, don't you have friends of the same faith? Question mark. Like I said, I'm not a believer. I simply had the ability to hear the conversation between the deities outside the world ever since I was a child. So I get to live a life of thrill and apprehension. Thrill and apprehension. Because the deities are always watching us from above. A little like that, but not quite. Again, it is physically impossible to do the Halo announcer voice in a questioning tone. <laughs> Let me use a JRPG analogy to help you understand. Oh, dang. Long, long ago, there was a princess. Her beauty was such that the Dark Lord coveted her and captured her for his own. Oh, for the love of God, this is just... This is just an... This is just another extended uh, advertisement for another one of the games from this dev team. <laughs> In order to save her, Brave here is set out on a quest with, the, with a priestess as her companion. I went through a lot of adventures and at long last managed to defeat the Dark Lord. So what do you think happens after that? Doesn't the hero and the princess live happily ever after? After? Oh, no, no, no. What happens is that the player shuts down that JRPG because the fun is over. I thought you meant that would ha what would happen to the characters. Betrayal. But that is what would happen to the characters. The world would be shut down, wouldn't it? Um, I suppose. The priestess alone realized that this would happen, and that and she became determined to make the world as fun as it could possibly be. To be honest, I was too sleepy to really understand what Jade meant. Maybe. I tried to keep listening, but at some point I drifted off to sleep like a weekly. Um, indeterminate voice, Lily, Lily. What? Indeterminate voice says, Hurry, I need help. Oh, this could be the girl we need to find. I forgot her name. 
I was about to say Lele, but no, that's different game. Good job. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sally. <laughs> this voice. It's Sally. It's so cold in here. Please come and get me out. Layer. Sally. A dream. What the? I'm guessing this is... Uh... Other guy McMahon face? Maybe. So you? Yeah. Lily... Let me in. Oh wait, no, that was Sally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it could be the oh, cannibal boy. Oh, oh, shit, okay. Lily. Lily, let me in. Is that Stelly? Again, it is physically impossible. Oh. oh, God. Don't just open... Don't just open the window to spooky ghost voice. Oh, no. Betrayal. You opened the window. You... Excuse me. No. You... You can't possibly be Sally. Who are you? Oh yeah, now it's me again. Yeah. Are you the cannibal boy? Die. The cannibal boy's fingers move to slash Louie's neck. But just in the nick of time, Jade pulled Lily away. Are you okay? Jay gently cupped Lily's delicate hand and looked down to make sure she was not hurt. Oh, uh, yes. Oh no. Wait, are we gonna have a love triangle? <laughs> Inbound sapphic moment. <laughs> I never noticed how tall Jade is. Layer. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot about you. I see now. You mimic the appearance of, vic of the victim's acquaintances. You get them to open the window. That explains why the victim's accounts of the boy were all different. Why do you want to kill people, though? The villagers chose to abandon us. <laughs> you want revenge? But you must realize we're not the villagers. Maybe. But you did eat my friends, Johan and Marge. <laughs> I just started thinking the ghost of Marge Simpson when I read that. Johan and Marge. I'm trying to think, are those the guy and girl from the original, like from Case One? Maybe. Those two evil spirits we encountered on Mount Candy House. Nope. Oh yeah, those two. Those two. The 
Boris straightened his fingers and prepared to strike with his hand again. A slash throat <laughs> from the left. She touched it? <laughs> I'll buy us some time while you send Brucey a message. You want to read this? It's her. Is this her? Yeah, it's she. Just... She told. That uh, uh, literally, she told him to text Brucey. So this is her. Oh right, it was the texting. Okay. My brain was thinking like she's going to go run and get Brucey, not <laughs> immediately pulls out cell phone when Demon is standing next to her. Yeah. Boy, hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> uh, freezing. This can sound like Boy. a whole different scenario. <laughs> Boy, K. Hell, lost the lead. The message was marked as red. Gain the lead. Thank goodness. How dare you ignore me? Don't get distracted. <laughs> oh. You see this? Jade pushed Lily away in time. Oh, that does not look good. Well, shit. But at the cost of her right arm. Oh shit, she lost her entire right arm. Could you not tell that? I thought it, I thought it was just like a puncture wound. Like it, there was just a hole around that area, like a hole in the shoulder there's, or something. Oh. There's. There's showing the arm gone. <laughs> you unobservant bitch. <laughs> Gade? Wait, that's not right. Gade. Gade. <laughs> that makes me think. <laughs> oh, fuck, what's the name of that game where it's like the guy's yelling snake? I forgot the Fuck. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. The, when you said that, I was thinking it was through that radio thing. <laughs> I was thinking of car battery. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> He's going to kill Jade. You have silverware. Be aware of your surroundings. Brucey, I think I see a way out of this mess. You there, I'm the one you want to kill. I will. Oh shit, should I say the last word? I mean, yeah, hag's not that bad of a word. Okay, I wasn't make I wanted to make sure. I will <laughs> once I deal with this hag. <laughs> you, you know what? I I'd, I'd prefer you being overly cautious than just accidentally saying extremely profane words again. Yeah, that's fair cuz we experience games with um Certain wording will say it for one visual novel. There's been multiple. Oh, yeah, true. But anyway. Jade and Brucey weren't planning on doing anything to your two friends. I asked them to do it. What?
he has a habit of straightening out his fingers before striking with him. I have to take advantage of that movement for a counterattack. Layer. Ball. I am a spirit. How <laughs> did you cut me? Because this knife is an energy sword. Oh my god. Stolen from an abandoned covenant vehicle. <laughs> Don't you know plasma is good against alien? Why did I? Oh, I've lost the plot. It's made of silver. God. Billy glanced at the knife, but noticed its tip had turned black. What is this black state? Will it still work against the evil spirit? Why? Why wouldn't it? It's just like spirit blood. Yeah. I'll end you this time. I suppose one slash wasn't quite enough. Nilly closed her eyes and pe prepared for the blow to come. But once again, the boy's fingers didn't reach her. Oh my gosh, the music! <laughs> it's aggressive. <laughs> also, seriously, okay, oh my god, why is Lily so fucking dumb? Like, she just, like, sees a little black smudge on the, on the fucking knife made with silverware and decides, Oh, I can't be using this to defend myself anymore. What? Why? Why would that be your first assumption? Right. The black smudge got there from using it on the ghost, but the thing's still made of silver, which is why it hurt the ghost. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Lily saw that a hand had the boy's arm in a firm grip. Brucey! <laughs> Not bad. Our first attempt at exorcism. How do you all keep touching me? <laughs> what a... <laughs> I just you put on paper. <laughs> <laughs> this ends now. I don't think so. What? Brucey's first hung in midair, unable to deal the final blow. Because now the boy was mimicking. Oh shit. This guy. He's your boyfriend. Brucey's I... dead boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, didn't you eat him? Did you... I'm con... Whatever. The timeline with these games is so fucking all over the place. Son of a... <laughs> oh, shit. Cast the evil eye. I can't move. Flip him off, then! Boy straightened out his fingers and placed them against the most vulnerable part of Brucey's neck. Brucey! <laughs> Any more tricks up your sleeve? That wasn't a voice crack, by the way. I literally put my voice high-pitched. <laughs> yes, and then it cracked. I... 
Fuck you. That was intentional. Well, yeah, like, that's fine. It's just... Oh. It's to be expected. Ah, uh, okay. No. But I know someone who does. Huh? It hurts. Out of nowhere, a sharp, violent pain erupted in the boy's right arm, almost as if it had been se severed. Oh yeah, and she's transferring her pain over to him. Hurts, doesn't it? Tomorrow night, I'll be back to kill you all. That. That's what gets you to leave? <laughs> it's, just, it's just the feeling of pain. You're a ghost. Also, he was That's... stabbed earlier. <laughs> Bro. What a whim. The cannibal boy is a fucking bitch. <laughs> you. Wait, I just realized something. When you go to f the fight the um uh cannibal boy, you could literally just wear a suit of armor from like you know the medieval ages with the silver chainmail. <laughs> he wouldn't touch. Couldn't touch him because silver hurts him. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, most of the time that wasn't made with actual silver. But yeah, you just have to wear the one that is, and <laughs> you're immune. <laughs> Do you do you realize yeah. how unbelievably expensive that would be? True. Anyway. Like even with a silver alloy, that would be absurd. Yeah. Anyway. Phew. Got away. All the way back to Mount Candy House. Where does evil spirits dwell? Brucey! Brucey! Jay needs hell! Oh my gosh, her face right now is reminding me from you. Reminding the face of Yuki when she had blood on her face. I'm not sure if you even know that character. Uh. It was from the anime where on phones they would tell you certain information. Oh, right. Um. Yeah, that that one. Uh, Future Diary. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the name. I never finished it, but I do want to finish it. I mean, you're saying Yuki. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Is that who you're meaning? Oh, I meant the girl. I forgot. I forgot, I forgot Where her is name. It? Oh, for fuck's sake, let me just go look it up. Uh, future uh, characters. Uh, you're thinking of you know. You know, okay. Girl is you know Gasai, and the guy is Yukitero Amino. Ah. Uh. Right. Anyway, I read this. I think. Yeah. Don't worry. If she dies, she'll just become an evil spirit that torments people. Not much of a change, if you ask me. Bruh. <laughs> what a fucking dick. <laughs> Betrayal. Besides, I won't let her die. Rusi knelt beside Jade and leaned his face to down towards hers. A person whose arm got chopped off needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. 
<laughs> I imagine someone somewhere thinks this. Uh, whatever. Next moment, Percy spat out a, tor a torrent of spirits. Spirits wormed their way into Jade's mouth and wriggled out from her shoulder, materializing like countless tentacles sprouting from her gaping wound. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then this little squirmed and crawled over to the severed arm on the floor and dove in. Then they dragged the arm back, eventually pulling the limb back into Jade's shoulder. E. E. They reattached her arm. Oh yeah, how long were you planning to stream? Uh, to 1 or 2 a.m. So we'll probably finish okay. this game tonight. I imagine. <laughs> Are you all right? Why am I just sitting in the corner? <laughs> Jade swung her arm around a few times as if it had never been chopped off. And turn fan. I actually take damage for Brucey sometimes. After all, I know you can fix me up. <laughs> so she becomes his his personal punching bag for dealing with evil spirits at her sometimes. I I guess <laughs> that's fucked up. Just like all right, the ghost has you as a hostage. <laughs> ah, that ain't gonna work well. Yeah. <laughs> We have the same regard for hostages' lives as, uh, the IDF. Oh, God. Anyway. Wait! Those spirits Brucey just spat out! That's right. They're evil spirits I ingested and assimilated. Free of artificial additives. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> who would have who would have guessed that Brucey primarily eat organic ghosts? <laughs> well then the ghosts are definitely not American. Pasture raised goats. I just about said goat. They're <laughs> evil goats. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're the ghosts of the incendiary goats and flamethrower goats that died. <laughs> I don't like this lore anymore. <laughs> you two are much more like evil spirits. But, Jade, I am so sorry. This never would have happened if I hadn't let my guard down. Hey, don't say that. Friends cover for each other, okay? Thank you. Lily, I won't let anyone pluck you until the time comes for you to bloom. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm concerned. 
<laughs> Jade. I mean, we've already. I mean, we've already established that Jade is kind of fucking unhinged. Yeah. How dare that little punk tarnish my memories. I'll skin him and eat his flesh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? I also just pieced together something. Why the fuck, like, is cannibalism a common thread throughout, like, a lot of the games we're playing recently? I don't know. So we've got this, all the previous games, we've got fucking Andy and Lele's coffin. Mm -hmm. Your can your channel is turning into a a cannibal, a cannibal channel. You know what's funny? I remember tweeting out, uh, "Murder bad cannibals, I'm okay," <laughs> or or good. <laughs> I think I tweeted that out at some point. Yeah, because it was during yeah, a, a Minecraft stream where I was just tweeting a bunch of random bullshit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh... <laughs> but he took on the form of someone you loved. How could you possibly harm him? I admit, I was upset earlier, but next time there will be no mercy. Also, Busta came in to say hello for a bit, then left. Betrayal. Jay took out her phone. Oh yeah, I, I also did the Cindy voice for Lucy. Jade, Brucey, I figured out where Marty's address is. I figured out Marty's address. It's N O number N N. It's, it's... This isn't an actual address. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why they put, wouldn't put an actual sounding address in the game, but this just hurts my brain. Street, Parrot City. That's a city right next to Footville. You know it is because it's the one that we were at in the last game. Mansplaining, or I guess a uh, woman'splaining. Oh my god. Lucy, can I get you to go to the top of Mount Candy House tomorrow? There's a certain evil spirit that's just asking to get his face burned off. Along with all of his evil spirit friends. Aw, oh, yeah! I'm so ready for this. He's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Lu Lucy is going to die. Is that really necessary? Sometimes you have to be cruel for the sake of your loved ones. If he thinks he can use my boyfriend's face and get away with it, he's so very wrong. But he has an evil eye. How do we deal with that? Flip him off. <laughs> Marty has an Azar on hand, though he got it from me in the first place. That should prove effective. So, uh, oh, what it? That's you. No. Oh. I was wrong about Marty. It's great. I mean, it kind of pretty much would probably be obvious by now. Obviously. She was hopeful. So that she would 
be able to justify helping to get her girl. <laughs> it was the cannibal boy who went to Sally's house to tap on her window. <sighs> and he even pretended to be Marty, so Sally didn't know who to trust anymore. Sally, please be safe. EA Sports in the game. Oh, we can now go to the hospital area. Nice. Marty's house is in that direction. <laughs> Great, um, north, south, east, west. Which way? <laughs> it, it is in that direction. <laughs> You're bad at navigating. Shut up. Ah, oh boy, don't you love suburbia? Sanitized exactly the same houses with yards and gates. All lined up in a row, alienating each other from their fellow man. What was I talking about? How about I know? Is this his house? Or so, this is his house. A week ago, Marty supposedly. <laughs> Asked Sally to come here. Then both of them went missing. No one's answering. You don't suppose Sally and Marty are all ready? Hey. Stop overthinking. But... Did you but, forget what I said already? But... 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Penis. You made the joke Get even it. worse. <laughs> but getting anxious doesn't help anything. I said getting anxious doesn't help anything. I understand. Fuck you. Well, why didn't you continue? Because apparently the guy with a million followers is messaging me. Uh. Okay. We don't know what we'll find in this house. There's someone in there. If someone in there needs saving. Anakin will only. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Make things worse. No. If we do complete this game before the end of stream, mm -hmm. uh, would you be thinking doing, uh, Andy and Lele, or maybe doing some, uh, Darth Clone? Probably Andy and Lele. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know, because it says it'll save Chapter 1 in progress, but at the same time, I got the Andy and Lele off of, um, Itch.io, not Steam. Hmm. So I don't know if it'll actually transfer. Well, if it doesn't, we get to review all of the incest. And probably just Yay. skip everything. I mean, we already know what to do. 
or do you? Fuck you. Right? Yeah, anyways. Lily took two deep breaths and calmed herself down. If only she had a superpower, she'd make a decent exorcist. We're soon going to find out she has a superpower, likely. Anyway, let me unlock the door. Girl, trespassing is the least of your concerns right now. Right. <laughs> unlock the door. You mean we're going to trespass. I don't need that on my criminal record. Don't worry, it's fine as long as we don't get caught. <laughs> Use my logic. Uh. I feel like you keep you die. Mm. Mm, ah, 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 oh, oh. I feel like you just keep spitting out evil spirit. The door opened. Just another way to use spirit miratalization. <laughs> Materialization. Materialization. Not, oh. not materization. Materialization. I get an evil spirit to pass through the door and materialize on the inside. Then it can just open the lock. No fingerprints left behind either. It's unsettling how perfect this is for committing a crime. Jade pulled out some plastic gloves from somewhere. <laughs> Since it doesn't clarify where, I just imagined a black hole just opens up near Jade, and she reaches inside and pulls out the gloves. <laughs> and everyone's nah, just okay Jade's... with it. <laughs> nah, you know what? Jade's got a purse of holding from D&D. &D. Yeah. Infinite, <laughs> basically, infinite storage in an alternate dimension. But these are... Uh... Why are you so used to this? Because they used to be cops. No. <laughs> also, Slayer. House Rental Agreement. Address N O N N R R R R R R Road, Footfill. Landlord J J J J D D D D. Tenant Martin Stew. Martin Stew. That must be Marty's full name. Martin Stew. Well, well, so he's a Marty Stew, huh? Sally's mother mentioned that Marty plans to move to Footville to live with Sally. Perhaps he is more serious about his relationship with Sally than I thought. Are we going to get to the point where Lily's okay with Marty being with Sally? I'm guessing.
If only he wasn't such a control freak. Well, from what we know from case two, there's a reason why he's uh, trying to do certain things. Because of Sally's, um, issue. You're thinking of, uh, extra case. Oh yeah, it was extra case. case two. Yeah, forgot about that. Case two was hospital. Oh, right. Where we first got introduced to them. Yeah. I don't think Lily knows. <laughs> no. I wonder if she would still be in love with her if she knew. Mm. A towel with blood on it. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. Oh no, not oh god, it's not pictures. I remember this from from the other one, the case. The the extra case. A photo of Marty and his parents. This must be Marty's parents' room. I robbed him. It robbed him of his parents and his memory. So he's not even sure about who he is. At that time, Marty had just lost his parents. And it, oh wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> I was just doing a male version of fucking Shade. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it worked. Yeah. I'd rather them not have similar voices. So that way I don't yeah. get confused. At the time, Marty just lost his parents and his, and his memory. And he came out of, of his coma to find the hospital overrun by a cult and zombies. If he hadn't had Sally there for emotional support, he would have gone insane. Urinary tract infection. What the fuck is wrong with you? A lot. Why is the urinary tract infection the, 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 such a big meme for you? That you just I don't know lose. why it's painted such a big meme for you. At least mine's longer and more complex. Well, mine helps make babies. <laughs> well, do you think I value that much? Huh. Hatchet likes abortions. Good to know. No, I do not. <laughs> oh, so so you're pro-life. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pro-choice because I don't like abortions. Yeah, that, that's fair. A pro-life position just makes more abortions happen. And with them being unsafer. Yeah. But anyway. I thought ill of him because I thought he kidnapped Sally. But now that I think about it. <sighs> perhaps he's just an unfortunate victim in this string of incidents. Bes you know, besides a serial killer. You know what I'm starting to think of? I what? wonder, you know how Sally admitted going to a mountain with Marty? Yes. What if the cannibal boy did that to destroy that statue so he can be free roam again? Because remember, in one of the times where she went up, the statue got destroyed. Yeah, the thing that was holding him back got, like, busted. But it wouldn't make sense for the cannibal boy to be interacting with him at that point. Fair. Because, like, the cannibal boy became active again because that thing got damaged. We'll probably find more information about that later. Yeah. Plus, even if he goes missing... He has no one who cares enough to notice or report it. I 
I know we have to go here, but I'm getting a bad feeling with that door. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, there, there's the log. Congrats. Well, it looks like we can't access the log till everyone done speaking, though. Because if I hit escape, it'll yeah. continue to the next line, which, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah. The door to Marty's room. Would Sally be behind this door? Oh no, I wonder if they're gonna see the things in extra case. Maybe. Corpses. My favorite activity is corpses. But if she is, wouldn't we hear something inside? Stop freaking out! Oh... One of these is gonna lead to a bad end. A bad ending, one of them is gonna lead to a good ending. I'm pretty sure. We can't... I mean, we can't know that for sure. But... We can try. Oh. Uh, so we actually have to go through the door to continue. Either that or you could just try leaving. Something inside. Betrayal. Yeah, we could try. Oh, yeah, we can just Walk leave. Walk out of the house. Yeah, we can just leave, but we don't know where the fuck to go. Damn. It looks like... Oh, yeah, we have to go back. Not go back. Yeah, yeah, we actually have to, have to open go. the door. Yeah. You didn't even try to go to the library. Time to open the door. Oh. Blood. Nobody. Just red paint on the floor. Well, at least we didn't find two severed heads. If the cannibal boy had gotten them, he would have left those and eaten just their bodies. You. But then, where could Sally possibly be? Don't step in it! You found a kitchen knife on the floor and a pool of blood that hasn't been wiped clean. Is this Sally's blood? What? You have B negative blood too? If I ever need a transfusion, I hope I can count on you. Is this the day then? I sure Sally. I, I sure hope Sally didn't try to make, take on the Campbell boy with this knife. That wouldn't do anything against the spirit. Or maybe something even more fun went down. What on earth happened in this house that night? It's weird. Maybe Sally's disappearance has nothing to do with the cannibal boy. Capture the flag. How could it have nothing to do with him? It was the cannibal boy who pretended to be Marty and came to tap on Sally's window. But Sally was Betrayed. convinced that it was Marty who'd come to tap on her window the entire time. Uh, true, but we know it can mimic voices and looks. And faces. What? That. Is Jay just trying to put it on Marty? <laughs> Even though it could be I mean, I, it's not him. Like, it... Well, I mean, she's basically just doing, like... Like, we don't know for sure whether it was the Cannibal Boy or actually Marty outside the window. Sure. We just don't know for sure. It's a... It's, it's a, a... 
reasonably safe assumption that it's the cannibal boy, but we just don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. Whatever do you mean? Maybe Sally had... Uh, there, there's two hats here. Yeah, that's proper. Oh, it is? Oh, that's right. Maybe Sally had had enough of Marty. The English language is trash. Yeah. So, so maybe that night, as soon as she arrived at Marty's house, she stabbed him to death with the kitchen knife, buried him, and then fled. Oh, that's not where I thought it was going. <laughs> that's not where I thought it was going. Why? Well, this sounds like one of the least probable theories. Yeah. As Brucey very quickly points out. Bury him. Where? What the fuck? What happened? Okay, that was weird. Hatchet, can you hear me? Hatchet. Hatchet! Uh, oh. Hatchet, can you hear me? Can I not be heard? Okay, I can hear you now. What the- What the okay. fuck happened? Stream crashed for five seconds and re came back. That's really weird. I haven't had that I in a long while. Yeah. I don't see storms. I can see the star- I can almost see stars coming out. So it's not weather. Mm -hmm. no. Well, then again, I have Verizon. Verizon can do random bullshit. Sally would never do such a thing. Hate to break it to you, yes, she would. <laughs> but she doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite literally trying to reconstruct her boyfriend out of parts of various guys that look like her boyfriend. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Everyone has a dark side. I have one, so does Brucey. It's naive to think that is an exception. You must have one, too. Bond between lovers is not as fragile as you think, you psycho. Aggressive. Since when are you so romantic? Then what do you think happened that night? What, what? the f- Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ! These people are- <laughs> Too unhinged to try to come to reasonable fucking detective-like conclusions. Why are you just instantly coming to the idea, oh, maybe Marty just got off her arm. <laughs> That's a normal thing to do. Yeah. And what we saw in Extra Kate, wait, <sighs> now that I started thinking about it, Marty technically has a power. Cause, he? cause in extra case we constantly use the power to reverse time. Yeah, but can't remember. Did that have something to do with that Nazir? It may have. So Marty technically has Maybe. the power to mess with time. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Marty could have just chopped off Sally's arms to keep her from opening the window. <laughs> Lily would be the, the normal person here. Why would you come up with such terrible hypotheticals? Like genuinely awful, unbelievably bad. Silly in every imaginable way, but in the worst way possible. 
absolutely downright awful suggestions from both of you. You should be ashamed for what you have caused. That needs to be clipped. <laughs> yeah, but Bookum's not here. Fuck. Perhaps they just took revenge in the house Marty rented because the cannibal boy targeted this place. I admit that's possible, but it's still wishful thinking. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's significantly more plausible than anything you two fuckers thought of. Oh, uh, I okay. In terms of unreasonability, right now we have Lily, and then Jade, and then Bruce's idea. Yeah. Enough. We'll find out if Sally and Marty are dead or alive once we get to Marty's rented house. All right. E e e e. I so look forward to seeing your face once you see what's become of Sally. Jay, do you know what happened to Sally? Um... Jade, Jade, baby girl. Do you know what happened to Sally? Right. In all honesty... The most likely scenario is that Sally was killed by the cannibal boy, and Marty went into hiding in fear of being suspected of murder. Oh, I gotta check something. Okay, no, I'm still alive, okay. You're still alive? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I was just giving... Restream sent me a, a message saying, Oh, stream has ended. Here's your insights. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure stream's still going. <laughs> do those insights have anything to do with the very likely botting of your follow or of your viewing right now? I don't know. Anyways. Even if we succeed with this exorcism, Sally can't pay us if she's dead. Normally, I would drop the case at this point. Fuck you. <laughs> but not this time. That bright need that I said that bright <laughs> instead of bright. That bright needs that bright needs to learn a lesson. Yeah, that bright does need to learn a lesson. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, that brat needs to learn a lesson. <laughs> Sound like he said bright with a southern accent. <laughs> that there brat just did a thing I don't like. <laughs> oh no, you gotta read the address. Fuck. Number N N R R R R Road Footville. It's that way. That way. Oh yeah, now we can go here. Visit Marty's rented home. Brucey. Could you please get on with unlocking the door? You adapted to our ways already. That was a question mark. Hold on. I hear something. There's someone inside thinking. Let me share with you. Oh. Go away. Leave us alone, I assume. That's Marty's oh, no, that's voice. Voice. What is Marty's voice, then? I don't remember what Marty's voice was. I think I just used my regular voice. 
Yeah, just like the basically the male version of what you're doing with uh, Jade. Yeah. Or more male, more masculine. Us. So Sally is safe. But if she's really safe, I should be able to hear what she's thinking as well. There must be limits to your telepathy, though. Perhaps Sally is sim simply out of your range. Oh. Damn. Marty, it's me, Bruce. I can unlock the door right now if I want to. Why don't you just come out? You two. Wow. Long time no see. He was here all along. Why didn't he answer the door? We haven't seen each other since the paranormal hazard. Y yeah, when we teamed up the fight against the cultist. Jesus Christ, we know what it's about. Right. <laughs> we've, we've come quite a long way. Could we come in for a quick chat over tea? You know, the house is such a mess. I don't think you want to come in. Yes, yes, we do want to come in. Given all that's happened to Sally, he seems a little too calm. H hold on. You. Have we met before? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I'm Sally's bestie. Lily and Lily. Because my parents didn't like me. <laughs> We've been close friends for a very long time. So you're Lily. Sally talks about you a lot. You can call me Lillian. <laughs> no, she does not like him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lillian. We're searching for Sally. Is she with you? No. But you definitely invited Sally to your house a week ago. After I fell asleep that night, Sally went off somewhere. No matter how hard I searched, I couldn't find her. How could I possibly tell her mother that? That's why I hid here. Liar. What about the knife lying in the puddle of blood in your room? Maddie, what are you hiding from us? Crap. Brucey held Marty down. Brucey held Marty down by the shoulder. Don't you run away. Get, get off me. Well, well. Were you able to read him? Is Sally safe? Sally is, uh, inside. I immediately... Wait... Why is this... What? Why is this put like this? I don't like, know. this would normally be the narrator's job. Why is Lily narrating? I don't know. I immediately pushed Marty aside and rushed into the house. 
player. In my haste, I accidentally broke a bottle on the table and cut the back of my hand, drawing some blood. However, the pungent smelling liquid from the bottle made me forget the pain. I know this smell from the anatomy lab. Oh, it's formaldehyde, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, for starters, if you actually just cut your hand on formaldehyde, first thing to do is go wash off your hand immediately. Second thing to do is immediately get some kind of mask over your face. True. It's formaldehyde. Capture the flag. It's so cold in here. Police, come and get me out. Oh no. Sally, is that where you are? Stop. Right? Okay. I'll let you. But you could hatch it? Ow, right away. Oh. Am I not coming through? No. Okay, so it went like this. It said, I'll let you out. Discord paused. It didn't immediately let you go, uh, like, for like a few seconds. Then it went back to out right away. <laughs> oh, it's the yeah. Discord's been lagging a lot lately. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, she's dead. Hmm. Head. So, so we. I finally found you, but... Actually, a part of me already knew. Okay, here's my- here's my hypothesis right now. Yeah? What I want to guess... Is that... Just like running in the back of my head. Mm hmm What if the cannibal boy did get Lily. And Marty's response you mean was Sally. to try to pres yeah. yeah, Sally, sorry. Get Sally. And then Marty's response to what was to preserve her head hoping to somehow get her back to life. Right. That's 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 my that's that's my head canon of what's going on right now. That's my idea. Anyway. When I found the puddle of blood, I knew it would end up like this. What the actual fuck? What? There's a school bus outside my house right now. Oh fuck. It's 26 p.m. Who the fuck is taking kids home? It's 7.26 p.m. on a school I mean, bus. I mean, if there was like... Uh, say, someone who, like, actually, uh, works for the school, or maybe it was some kind of school event that they're coming back from. Uh, okay, now it's getting a bit weird. They're flashing hazard lights on, on the school bus. What the fuck? You know, I think I'm just not gonna go outside. <laughs> I mean, even, even if they're, like, what like even if there wasn't anything bad happening outside there's children out there presumably true stay away from the children they will hurt your brain cells when i found the puddle of blood i knew it would end up like this i just didn't want to believe
Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. What? Yeah, yeah, that's... Yep, yep, yep. I'm guessing, yep. Uh huh. What? Her eyes. They're open. As if by telepathy, Sally's voice rang directly in Lily's head. Oh. Oh. Kill me. Please. Oh, God damn it. The dogs are barking at the school bus. No. Ah. Uh. Ifs. Ha. Huh. He <laughs> What kind of joke is this? A nightmare? Jade slapped Lil uh, Lily in the face. Ah. <laughs> The show's just getting started. Don't go insane just yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just got bitch slapped. <laughs> well, no, I'm laughing at just the casual placement of a head on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what he's—he's he's confirming my hunch. Late... Assuming he's not a lying bitch. True. Late in the night, once Sally got to my place, the cannibal boy came again and kept antagonizing Sally so much that she gave in and opened the window. We tried to resist the cannibal boy, Sally with a knife and me with the Nazar, but we failed. Only Sally's head remained, and I just stood there stunned. But then a revelation came from above. Yeah, that's what happened last time. A revelation came from above, and he got his time resetting powers. That's right, yeah. Wait. If he still had his time resetting powers, he could have just reset and started over. I'm guessing he didn't have those powers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, uh... Some reason he just forgot right. them. <laughs> he just forgot, forgot how to do it. He forgot his most overpowered power. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty normal thing, just like the ability to warp space time, you just forget about it. <laughs> and I know you snuck something home with you from the paranormal hazard boy. A revelation. Hmm. Now I know which deity he's talking about. He started with a cult to perform a mass human sacrifice. They infiltrated Parrot City's General Hospital and spread a substance called the Undead Extract there. Oh, he's using that on her? Ugh. Bro. No. Bro, man, you gotta, you gotta let go. Right. Like, you're doing this without having even the slightest idea of how to bring her back to normal. Right. Something from the paranormal has it. It had better not be the undead extract. Yeah, it was. I stole some after beating the cult's grandmistress. Why would you even want to keep something like that? I don't know, but I just felt I needed to take it. Maybe it was all part of some deity's plan. Again, I mean, if I didn't have the extract, I would have lost Sally, you know. And here comes Lily. Sally. Oh, oh what? 
I thought Sal was just gonna- I'm not Sal, Sally. Lou was gonna come over and bitch slapped Marty. <laughs> That's what I was I'm thinking that was about to happen, yeah. <laughs> Sally, how could this happen to you? Lily reached out with trampoline hands and tried to pick Sally up. Still we... Oh, evil eye. The... those eyes. The evil eye awakened inside of her. Uh, no, please. Oh wait, no, that's the other. No, please don't let me smell blood. Oh yeah, didn't it? Like when she smelled blood before, like an extra case, she her personality changed. Maybe. So I, I think yeah. Yeah. This is just a shitstorm of continuity shit. Yeah. <laughs> Lily looked at the wound on the back of her hand, and then back to Sally. Wait. Don't tell me you've become a... Time to feed Sally. Marty cuts his own wrist with a box cutter and shoved it against Sally's mouth. Oh no, I guess it just is because she doesn't because she's a fucking zombie. Uh No. I don't want to drink anymore. I know you're thirsty. Uh, uh. uh. Sally frantically sucked Marty's blood. As she did, wriggling suits of pink flesh stretched out from the severed area around her neck, as though searching for her lost body. Ah, very cute. Like the leech I kept when I was a little girl. You, you kept, kept the leech as a little girl? Why would you have that, of all things, as a pet? It's, like, it's not the most unusual, but it's still pretty out there. Right. I can't bear to watch. Marty, I begged you to kill me. Why won't you listen? I don't want this. I don't want to become a monster. You're overreacting. It's just a simple change in diet, that's all. The guy's lost it. He's completely out of touch with reality. You're the one who gave me hope I needed to survive the paranormal hazard. Now it's my turn to give you hope. You know what I'm also starting to think? What? Since Extra Case didn't have a number, could it be non-canon? I doubt that. I mean, maybe. Yeah, because the houses we've checked so far didn't have that room before. Or like that basement room. Well, yeah, but that was like a secret entrance that needed to be opened a very specific way. Yeah. But yeah, it might be non canon. Oh, God. Hope? Did he really say? Oh. Marty. Or are you worried about money? Don't worry. I got some inheritance and a life, life insurance payout from my parents. We can. 
bitch slap him. That's that's enough. Stop it. Actually, I'll be perfectly fine if she stabs him. Oh, that would be overkill. I think. This whole situation is so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need Lily to become a murderer, too. Fine, just have Jade do it. <laughs> just toss that the name would be more... Jade. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be... That, that would be more acceptable in my mind, because Jade's already fucking unhinged. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> I... Yeah. Why do you never listen to what Sally wants? Why do you just force your love on her? What Sally wants is dignity. She wants to die as a... I know that. I know. Alright. Don't you think I want to give Sally the love she deserves? But you're saying if I really love her, I have to kill her. How could I ever do that? Can you? Dot, dot, dot. Lily. Sally, you are my first friend, my first love, and the one who brought me out of my isolated world. You gave me everything, so I desperately wanted to do something for you, too. So when you confide in me, I jumped at the chance to give you advice. But I never imagined it would just make matters worse. That's why I rushed to come find you. I put up with these two, as suspicious as they were, and broke out of my shell in ways I never had the courage for. I even went and almost died at the hands of an evil spirit. And all for what? So that I can kill you? You think something's gonna have to do with the fact that, uh, they have the same type of blood? That has Maybe. to come up, right? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway. Right? Yeah. I have no right to criticize Marty. If I had been there that night, you were decapitated. I would have done the same thing. Oh my gosh, I was looking up to see if the game was canon or not, and it's not confirmed. Yeah. But, um, on the Steam page, one of the places I looked at, someone commented on the game, because you know you can make comments on games. They said, yes, yeah. made me feel like an extra virgin. Definitely worth it. Trust. Wh what? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, yeah, whatever. Extra virgin, yeah, okay. It's just like your past lives or your your ancestors are also virgins immediately once you say that. <laughs> That's what extra virgin is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. If if someone was to retroactively Make everyone, every one of their ancestors virgins. 
they would instantaneously cease to exist. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, we, we did this one alright. What am I supposed to do? Sometimes you have to be cruel for the sake of your loved ones. Oh, this nope. is probably choosing an ending. Probably. Oh yeah, it literally, it does it for all of them. It does it for all of them. Damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we get the normal ending and the quote-unquote happy ending if we persuade Sally to live. <laughs> it's, uh... I'm pretty sure the bottom one, the game will go on longer. So we probably should go for the one on top. I mean, yeah, but like, no matter what, we still have to deal with the cannibal boy, right? Yeah. But... I mean... I don't know, which one do you want to do first? Well, time for murder. Okay. That does seem to be the... most... merciful thing. I'll do it. I'll relieve Sally from her suffering. What do you mean by that? I cradled Sally and ran outside to where there was sunlight. Perhaps in the sun. But as soon as I got a foot out of the door... Marty grabbed Lily by the shoulder and swung her around to face him. Give her back. Give Sally back. No! Why are the other two not helping? <laughs> Because they aren't paid to help in this situation, maybe. Please, I don't want to use force. Marty grabbed Lily's arms and tightened his grip. That hurts. Marty, you what? Oh, wait, no, that's this is Sally. Malty, you let go of Lily. Ha, evil eye, bitch. <laughs> what? I can't move. You realize that's not, that's not something a normal human can do. Sally's clearly becoming less human. I have to do this before that happens. Lily took a few cautious steps towards where the sun was shining. Marty, I'm sorry. I just can't keep on living by your side when I'm like this. No, don't say that. Marty tried to rush forward, but Sally's gaze froze him in place yet again. Lily, you're my best friend forever. <laughs> 
Now in the way. Damn, friend zoned. God damn it. Don't take my jokes. <laughs> I don't want you to feel any guilt for doing this for me. Sally, I. What? I love you. I love you too, Billy. And thank you. Now I can rest in peace. Billy grinned her teeth and took a step back out of the shade. I can't tell if this Wait, is supposed what? to be me speaking or you. Well, yeah, now it's saying Lily. What? Why is it bouncing back and forth between <laughs> Lily narrating and the narrator narrating? Should I just read his name? Because it's an narrator's damn job. I mean, I can because like this is this would probably become like a uh, first person if it continues. As soon as that was exposed to sunlight. She began to turn down. Oh, damn. You gonna get any nice art? This shit? As she became lighter and lighter in my arms, I felt something in my heart fade away. And nope, we don't get nice art. <laughs> I wonder if case three is like the final chapter, like the nail in the coffin. I don't know. Maybe. But Stelly, the love I feel is different from yours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is definitely the narrator. Okay, that's a glit. This is it, this is definitely supposed to be the narrator. I mean, it's still saying Lily, so I assume that it's supposed to be Lily. After that, Brucey and Jay took Marty's Mazar and went up the mountain to exercise the cannibal boy. Marty was left utterly devastated. He was later arrested on suspicion of murder and unlawful disposal of the dead. He was even treated as the prime suspect for the Hill Polly serial murders. <laughs> he didn't even do any of them, so he was, <laughs> he was falsely yep. accused. <laughs> then again, he can't exactly put a, take a ghost to jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> The police announced they had now solved. Wait, okay. This guy is not old enough to have been the original serial killer. Right. The, poli the police in this situation are just knowingly being... Are just knowingly lying. Yeah. This game does mimic reality. Yep. Wait, what the... F Wait, why do I... Why is this open? Anyway. The police announced that they were now- They had now assault. <laughs> what had been a whole case, reassuring the public and calming their fears.
whether or not he was the true murderer, no one seemed to care. So the exorcism of the cannibal boy just fucking happens off screen. Oh, that's great. Now you see, what I was looking for is, uh, spoilers for Attack on Titan Final Ending. It's basically a similar thing, one of the last panels in Attack on Titan. Which is specifically, uh, Mikasa finally kissing Aaron, who is just ahead. Is he dead? Yes. Oh. She, she has to kill him. And she kisses him after she's cut off his head. Oh, there's more. Oh. One, One year. Oh wait. Yeah. yeah. That's you. <laughs> One year later. It's been quite a while since I came to Footville. You do, she does not look happy at all. Mate, the love of her life is dead. What do you expect? Oh? I mean, oh. Curse you. I see. The village is still full of evil spirits. Die. Hmm. <laughs> what the? What? She has, she, I guess it's a gun with silver bullets. <laughs> she got silver gun. Is she now an exorcist because of all this? I guess. <laughs> Hell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that confirmed it. Because, because these are silver bullets. No, stop. I'm fairly certain she would be getting into a lot of trouble for just fucking firing off a gun in the middle of a city street in Japan. Right. Or at least presumably in Japan. Please, spare my life. But you're already dead, are you not? Layer. Capture the flag. Team Deathmatch. Oh, wow. Apparently, there's a, a warrant for arrest of some... Some guy. And it's got posted on the Virginia subreddit. That I'm somehow being pinged for. Okay. Yeah, apparently he took down posters of Jewish hostages. Took down posters of Jewish hostage hostages? Yeah. Like, are we talking propaganda folders for Israel? Or is this just, like, a case of actual anti-Semitism? Oh, here's a line that he says. What about the Palestinian children? He says confidently. Apparently as I said before he got he ran off. I mean, okay, but like, like, is there a copy of what the posters were? Nope. 
Like it's just saying pictures of of Jewish hostages. Uh, people are- oh. Oh, it's talking about kidnap Israeli kids. So yeah, it's- that's what the person is talking about, so, um. That should confirm things. It's talking about the stuff going with Israel and Palestine. Uh, Palestine. I think it's yeah, called. and what- what that basically is, from the sound of it, mm -hmm. is just- mm -hmm propaganda specifically designed to cover up the ongoing genocide yep i probably shouldn't say that word but in which case like unless there's like more information about this person mm -hmm. that like they're an actual anti-semite this sounds like a fairly reasonable thing to do fair Like, when, when you actually take a step back, what is the purpose of putting up propaganda, like, of posters that are specifically aimed at trying to lead you to take the side of Israel when Israel doesn't actually seem to be giving a single shit about the people that have been taken hostage, considering the fact that they just keep dropping bombs on everything? Oh, great. Apparently, Why? after he took a, a, a posters, apparently a bunch of college students put more up. Uh, fun. I'm guessing there's, like, no actual pictures of what the posters look like. What the fuck? Apparently people are talking about this, but apparently this is an actual thing with Harvard. Apparently if you go to Harvard and think killing civilians is not an appropriate response to killing civilians, they put your face on a billboard calling you an anti-Semite. Uh, a very common thing now that, uh, uh. call them Israeli nationalists are doing is basically just conflating the criticism of the Israeli state with all Jewish people, which is, ironically enough, extremely anti-Semitic. Yeah. What's the fundamental issue when an anti-Semite, like, just calls some random Jewish person and accuses them of being a Zionist? What's the issue with that interaction? It's the fact that the anti-Semite is assuming Jewish equals Zionist. This is literally just the exact same thing happening. Uh... Yeah. And anyway, let's get back to the game. <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of conversation that Twitch has not had a good history of being particularly fond of allowing. Yeah. But you're already dead, aren't you? Eh. <laughs> 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 I just imagine there. everybody do the flop. <laughs> and you just see him flop over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's these two. It's us. You two are late again. No, you're too early. Are you that eager about exercising evil spirits? Oh, I guess she joined them. Something like that, I guess. Or I guess maybe they called her in? True. 
What kind of vile spirit is our target this time? After Sally disintegrated into ashes, my emotions seem to fade away with her. No matter what I do now, my heart is dead, like cold ash. Only the screams of evil spirits light. Screams of evil spirits light a semblance of a fire in my lifeless soul. That is concerning. Hmm. Hmm. Depression? You've really changed in the last year, Lily. You're a bit too cruel towards evil spirits. And you know, that's saying a lot coming from someone like me. What Ooh. does it matter? Why? Why do you put it like that, girl? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You could just say, like, evil spirits aren't human anymore. Like, you could just put it like that. You don't need to just say, after all, an evil spirit has no human right. Jesus Christ. Girl. You're exactly the kind of talent I wanted. Well, I need to eat. Would you two care to have breakfast with me? Sure. <sighs> hmm. Slimy. I must say, the texture is a tad disgusting. But the taste itself is good, like some kind of meat. Meat of a kind I've never tasted before. Right? Sorry. I'm getting messages from both Discord and fucking Twitter. <laughs> uh. <laughs> from now on, you really are one of us. The normal ending. Ghost Eater. Yeah, the, the quote-unquote normal ending. I eat ghosts! Now we go back here. Uh. Now we gotta do the fucked up ending. <laughs> for when someone wants to die, but we tell them to live anyways. <laughs> uh. Yay. It's too cruel. I can't. You there? Yeah. But I, I clicked it. God damn it. Thank you. I understand very well that Sally wants to die. But is death really the only si Bright? I'm pretty sure you clicking off of the game pauses whatever text is coming up. Sorry, I was looking at the other ending. We have one other ending that we have not seen, which is Solution. 
Oh. Well, we've got really the only solution. Really the only solution. I want to figure out what it is that Sally truly wants. I so wanted to watch her kill Sally, and now she's saying she can't. What the fuck, Jade? Fucking Jade. I suppose I'll wait and see if there are any interesting developments. I'll make the most of it. Whatever it takes to entertain the deities. Don't you think I want to give Sal the love she deserves? Before I talk to Sally about her needs, there's something I must get off my chest. Marty, I realize that you really do love Sally in your own way. Bitch slap him. Yes! Yes! The bitch slap! Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> bitch slapped Marty as hard as she could in the face. Huh? But if you truly love Sally, you should stop and consider what she wants. But, but I just... How could you? How could you put your that... girlfriend... Oh, uh... oh. I thought it was... He very clearly says Lily. How could you? How could you put your girlfriend in the fridge next to poor? Uh, <laughs> she's got a point there. Besides, formaldehyde is horrible for skin. What were you thinking using that on a girl's face? What is going on? This is okay. We've got Lily berating Marty because he's not good at taking care of his girlfriend's severed head. Nice. Ooh, time for me to chime in. Exactly, just look how pale and unhealthy you made Sally look. It's definitely not because of the formaldehyde. Alright, hold on, I'll be right back. Apparently a package uh, look. Er, I... I didn't. No ex- wait, that, that's not the voice. Um, it's layered. No excuses. For all you've said about giving Sally hope, look at what you've actually done to her. No wonder she wants to die. And you call yourself a boyfriend. Y you're right. I could have done better. Heavens. 
I lost myself a bit. Oh, I'm being messaged. Sorry, give me a sec. Butts and penises. And vaginas. No. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Hatchet does not like butts, penises, or vaginas. That's my head. I also love how Sally's head just looks so unamused right now. Instead of suffering. They just look unamused. I know you are suffering, and I want to release you from that pain. Make- girl, make up a time! I'm sorry. <laughs> but first... Won't you tell me why exactly it is you want to die? I'm praying that there may be something other than death that might help ease your soul. I... You don't have to say it. You're fed up with Marty, aren't you? Why don't... Why don't we just do away with Marty, then? We know ways to make sure you're free f of him for good. No, wait, that's... Yeah, that's Sal. No, that's not true. I still love Marty. You... You look kind of disappointed. I think I understand. You don't want to acknowledge what you've become. Your impulse to crave blood frightens you, as well as how you're becoming less and less like yourself. Is that right? Yeah, it's probably best that we did the kill her ending first. We did do the kill ending first. Yeah, that's... I... Oh. That, that's what I just said. I said it's probably best that we did the kill her ending first. Yeah, anyways. Yes. Besides, what's the point of living? If I can no longer do the things I love, like baking cookies. But more than anything, I don't want to be a burden on Marty. I'm afraid he'll get sick of me one day.
love Marty that much. You look so disappointed. <laughs> Lily took a deep breath. Don't you have anything to say, Mr. Boyfriend? Sally, I'm really sorry. I got so anxious, I didn't even notice that you might be feeling. Maybe you think I just need you for emotional support at the moment. And that one day when I find a way out of my mess, I won't want you anymore. Maybe that was true at the start. But the more I got to know you, the deeper I fell in love. Now I can say with all my heart that I love you. Just for who you are. From now on, I'll be your arms and your legs. I'll always be there to take care of you and never tire of you being by my side ever. <laughs> I'm starting to imagine like he's just walking alone at night with the head and someone passes by. <laughs> And sees them both talking to each other. <laughs> now, oh, jeez. Yeah. That sounds like a. Oh my god, that sounds like a wicked like one of one of those harmless YouTube pranks. Yeah. That's like scary, like pranking random strangers by like doing something that's generally kind of weird and freaky, but not actually harmful. That would be a killer one of those. Yeah. Multi. So, when he's not agitated, he's capable of producing some pretty sweet word. But I still don't want to be a burden. How much longer do I have to put up with this melodramatic crap? I'm here for an exorcism, not this nonsense. <laughs> what kind of burden are you talking about? I'm not much different if you were totally paralyzed. It's not much different if you're totally paralyzed. What? Actually, there is even less of a worry. Marty doesn't have to think about bed sores or bodily waste all he has to do is take care of one measly head Brucey <laughs> Bruce you could be a, a bit more sensitive What? I'm just being more realistic in terms of the labor and cost of caregiving. Well, I guess you're not wrong. Oh yeah. Well, I guess he also doesn't have to worry about having kids. Why is that the first thing you always come to do? <laughs> Well, at least he doesn't live in Virginia. He can actually get blowjobs. What did you just say? I said at least he doesn't live in Virginia. He can actually have blowjobs. What, are blowjobs illegal? Oh yeah, no, you can get 100% fine for having blowjobs in the state of Virginia. Okay. I think it's like $500. That's really stupid. What's more, Sally no or Sally is no ordinary human anymore. You saw those shoots of flesh sprouting from her neck when she fed on your blood. Give it a decade or so, and she might just grow an entirely new body. Roll. A new body? <laughs> I 
You just made Sally sound even more like a monster. Sally, medical science is advancing day by day. In other, in another decade, the technology for full body prosthetics may be a viable possibility. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining some doctor just takes a random head from a cemetery and tries to bring it back to life with a full body prosthetic. <laughs> Fucking reboot of yeah. Frankenstein's monster that no one wanted. Yeah. <laughs> And we persuade you to find some goals to live for in the meantime. <laughs> what goals could I possibly have? Perhaps you could teach Marty how to bake. Or invite him to share in your love of RP. I mean JRPGs. Buy the developer's other games now. <laughs> what do you think about that, Marty? A a actually, I've always wanted to learn how to bake cookies. Would you mind considering? It? Would you consider teaching me? Maybe, maybe I could do that. Besides, come to think of it, couldn't the sequel to you? Oh my god! <laughs> wasn't the wasn't the sequel to that game on their workshops? Probably. As, like, something that's in production. Yes. Oh my god, These... we got ads for two games! <laughs> These fucking goofy hacks! <laughs> three three games, technically, because there was also that explanation that was oh, based yeah. off of one of their other games. Oh my gosh, three games. Shouldn't the sequel to Hero King Quest be coming out soonish? This this series be soon became an ad for three games. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it, Sally. Okay, she's just got to get really good at controlling a gamepad with her tongue. I mean, I've seen people. You use different body parts for a gamepad. I mean, yeah. Like, the, there's all sorts of stuff. Not to mention, uh... I'm gonna think of it, the weird tentacles she got. Maybe she could learn how to use those. <laughs> no matter how small the goal, try finding little reasons to keep on the now this just leaves on a question on how to get the final ending. I mean, we'll probably find out here. Yeah. What if I still decide I want to end things later? Then I will take it upon myself to enact a betrayal. Oh, okay. Let's a promise, bestie. <laughs> uh, full body prosthetics, huh? At least I could hold up shape for that. Or f hold, hold out hope for that.
Sally. I didn't expect her to succeed in persuading Sally. That's interesting in its own way, but I think there's a punchline missing here somehow. Jada said something to Marty via telepathy. Why well, there's no hiding anything from you, huh? Why are you telling me this? You'll be glad I did, someday soon. Ahem. Aren't you all forgetting something? One reason Sally called us here was to exercise the cannibal boy. Oh, right. He also attacked Lily and me last night. What? How dare he attack Lily? Uh, you mean it's... It's fine that he attacked me? That was the officer again. In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone got beheaded in her hometown of Footnell. He also just killed another incident. Wait, that's wrong for He also just killed another innocent person. We can't just let him roam free. That little punk has the evil eye. So we need Marty's Nazar. Of course, it would have been better if Marty came to fight with us. But... Marty. Please help them protect Lily. It would be doing me a favor, too. Now watch like, right when it gets near the end, he gets his time powers again. <laughs> okay, Sally. Good. Another disposable meat shield. Fuck you, Bruce! Look, we already know Bruce is a dick. Yeah. The goal is to get rid of the cannibal boy, right? Then we have to wait until the night time and prepare a counterattack for when he comes. Isn't that it? Mm. Oh, I've got... I've got food, so I need to go grab that real quick. Okay. Are we back to yeah the game yes game screen yes we are okay let me reload my friggin browser there we are right. not quite. According to our investigations, we can't completely exercise the cannibal boy without destroying all of the children <laughs> who starved to death on that mountain. We must destroy the children. So we can't just lie and wait. We have to go on the offensive, and Sally is the key to our victory. Sally, that's the Russian voice. Me? You have a plan. First, we go to Mount Candy House and meet up with our companion, Lucy. Then we, and then... So do you all get what we do when the time comes? Only you would come up with something that messed up. Aw, thanks, Brucey. I tried.
what choice have we got? We can't beat the cannibal boy otherwise. Who cares what it takes, as long as it obliterates him. Sally seems... oh wait. Sally seems like a different person somehow! If Sally says so, I'm in. Then count me in as well. Team Death Match. Hello? Yes, yeah, sorry. Apparently, um, uh, the fucking bank says it, something I, I bought wasn't, uh, it was fraud even though I paid for it. Bank was being stupid. Uh, what? I got an email saying that, uh, that something I paid for, like, earlier today. Or, or, no, yesterday, I got McDonald's, and it was saying, oh yeah, you definitely didn't pay for this, right? <laughs> I had to tell him, yes, I paid for that. Okay. Yeah. You have to exercise all your evil spirits on that mountain. What good will you be? I will do what I can. Betrayal. Lost the lead. Billy, listen. I'm a materializer. Jade is a telepath. And you, what are you? A girl with a silverware set. I... Oh. <laughs> huh. Why hadn't we thought of that as a thing before? She oh, just casually no. fine with she just casually fine with buying these people all these bigger meals. I am rich. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna double check, make sure there's nothing else going on with my bank. It should not only took me a few seconds. Okay. So you might hear some SCP sounds, just letting you guys know. God's my head.
Great, and I just uh, finished solving it. There we go. Oh, I gotta sign out now. Just give me a moment. And there we go. All right. I am fully back now. Sorry about that. Um, uh, uh, I actually made stream longer because I slept an entire day and had an energy drink earlier, so I'm wired. Even though, medically, I'm not supposed to have energy drinks. <laughs> I only had it because it was Skittles flavored. Uh, anyway, did you read this? Oh, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm looking at something. Give me a sec. Uh, okay. Yeah. I am rich. Hey. <laughs> Okay, this girl can't be serious. She ordered eight silverware gift sets instead of food at the restaurant. So having money trumps my ability to exercise my superpower, huh? Good to know. Aw, this poor Bruce Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to bribe them, now she just goes and buy the shit ton of silverware. Yeah. Let's go to the mountain. Time to show that ghastly menace the power of my bond with Sally. Wait, did you? <laughs> I was about to say, did you bring the head with you into that store? <laughs> That's going to... That would be funny. <laughs> oh. You mean the power of money. Oh, that's their own voice. <laughs> that's Marty. Yeah. You mean the power of money. Some that candy house? Yes. Oh shit, he dead. Fuck. Oh. Wait, wrong voice. Oh, good sir. Are you all right? Obviously, no. They're dead. Oh. How do you know? He's still alive. <laughs> oh, those evil spirits are brought to descend on the village. Possess the villagers, makes them cannibalize each other. Damn. That's just like the incident at the hosp at the hospital. So they want to start a paranormal hazard here too, huh? You, you're that exorcist. Please save the villagers. This man is asking the wrong person. Brucey e. loves working for free. Not to worry. We will protect Footville. Later. Hey. I owe you a great favor. What? No. I don't want anyone owing me any favors. I came here to perform an exorcism in the first place, and that had nothing to do with you. 
You owe us nothing. If you're about to bite the dust, get the heck on with it. <laughs> he died with a smile on his face. <laughs> He's finally dead. <laughs> Oh, come on, you sack of shit. It's the cannibal boy! Dun dun dun! Slayer! I thought you would oughta run away, but you came right to me instead. <laughs> We good at Wait, I was about to do like a Master Chief plus Russian voice. <laughs> we couldn't exercise you without coming here. Every time. Now drop and give me 20. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Immediately. Every time I hear that, I know it's not what it means, but still. <laughs> English <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> I mean, I think cinnamons exist in most languages. True. Oh? Get ready. He's gonna cast the evil eye. Lucy forced... Uh, Lucy focused on his preparations. Marty took out the Nazar and thrust it right at the boy's eyes. I like how there's just heavy metal music right now. <laughs> did it work? No. It did work. On you. Not me. My eyes are cracked. I bought this thing from Brucey for a thousand dollars. Dude. You're a cheap piece of junk. Can't hurt me. That's not cheap. Well, to this guy it is, I guess. <laughs> is he also rich? <laughs> Look at the way he's dressed. Of course he's rich. I bought that off a street vendor during my visit to Turkey for an exorcism, actually. Oh, that so it actually was. <laughs> yeah, she was. So cheap. it actually was a cheap piece of shit. He just scammed him. <laughs> yeah. Don't panic. Tap plan B. Take this. Fucking <laughs> my brain. <laughs> My brain said that he was just gonna chuck her head at him. <laughs> I, I can't move. No. What's that you're holding? Tell me. How does it feel when you want to move but you can't? They're using a victim's head as an assault. What kind of does that? We certainly don't want to hear that from you. <sighs> don't let him use the evil eye. I have to stave him off without getting close. Nellie held eight silver table knives between all of her fingers and hurled them at the boy as hard as she could. Oh, that hey, seems like a waste, but okay. Ow! Oh my gosh, Besides. she's gonna be just... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Besides the bizarre and against the evil eye. 
Jester. The Jester. Please I show- I forgot that part of the line. Please show the still art of her flipping the ghost off. <laughs> Please. Lily gave the boy the finger. Oh, come on. Your evil eye is useless. She sealed my evil eye. Boosie, aren't you ready yet? Keep him occupied just a moment longer. What are you doing back there, groping her? Just get on with it. Oh my god, Hatchet. They haven't said a word to each other. How are their movements perfectly in sync? Wait, that hag shared a feeling of her pain with me before. So she must be a telepath. I get it. She's the one giving out directions. Oops, he figured it out. Come on out, everyone. Oh, shit. Countless children appeared beside the boy. They all had a murderous glint in their eyes, as if cursing everything in the world. Eat the three in front. Shoot. Go back now. <laughs> Stupid. I was going for you all along. Have you forgotten already? I can share my pain with you all. If they hurt Jade, they will all suffer the same pain. We'll just kill you instantly. Everyone go straight for a neck. That's Sally, so it's... Jade! <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh what? yeah, I remember she was on. They, this, this is the payout to her being on her period. Oh yeah. This is. Are you kidding me? A bizarre thing struck the evil spirits. <laughs> uh. It was a dull and sharp at the same time like hands plunging into their lower adamants and twisting their organs like rags, rendering them nauseous and dizzy. What is this pain? I haven't even attacked you yet. You could say they're a kind of, of pain of adulthood. Little pests. What? Oh, now? Jesus Christ! Hey, I know you. Sorry, people. I'm so late to the party. Where the fuck did I even come from? She just climbed up the mountain. So, I just burn them all, right? Pretty much. I like how Marty is the only one who's shocked right now. Everyone else is just chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you came good. Now, the ghost eaters are all here. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be included. <laughs> I think we need a catchphrase like Ghost Eater's a symbol or something. That's stolen from Marvel. Jade. 
Uh, no, it is not. Avengers Assemble. Right. Yeah. It's a name of a group. Yeah. <laughs> plus the word assemble. Yeah. It has been used so many <laughs> times. <laughs> it is not stolen. It could be. <laughs> Look at the next one. <laughs> Give me a break. We're not superheroes. This music is just so needlessly over the top for this. Yeah. <laughs> More like a band of villains, if you ask me. We even have a severed head. Huh? I see a new face. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gods, I hate this lady sometimes. Hi there. My name is Lucia White. Brucey and Jade saved me before, so now I'm here to return the favor. I still find it funny how Sally's face expression on the model just looks like she's just annoyed of everything right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't get that from her. It's just the eyes. But... Yeah. That is, what is it? Anyway. To me. Yeah. Um. It's a pleasure to meet you. As for my ability, I yeah. It's paranormal fire. <laughs> Sorry about that, kiddo. It's either be eaten in this world, you know. Don't be af- Oh wait, that's one voice. Don't be afraid. There- There are more of us than them. Oh. You wanna compare numbers? It takes a while to spit out all the evil spirits I've eaten. Uh... How many evil spirits have you eaten again? Do you remember how much jelly you've eaten in your life? What? Am I, I, I connected? Yeah. Oh, I hear you now. Uh, okay, there it goes. Okay, there. Dude, fucking decor. Uh, you want robot at the end. <laughs> it, it, you just said something. I didn't hear it. So, Brooklyn, while we're just dealing with their technical difficulties, how are you doing? And hatchet left. Am I in here? Yeah, you are now. Hi. Fucking Christ. So apparently I had forgotten to turn my VPN off. Oh my god. 
Let me get some set back up. Oh, got him. There we go. Oh, the ghostly head of the girl. That and... And Marge. The best friends reunited. How deliciously hot woman. Your way of eating only kills. Mine, on the other hand, keeps them alive inside of me. In terms of the art of eating, you're still just a novice. How dare you treat my friends like that? But don't worry, you'll join them soon. Brucey pointed at the boy and the other children and barked an order at his entourage of evil spirits. Eat them up. I this can't is even... no longer. What? I said I can't even tell what's going on in the picture. <laughs> it's a lot of moving parts, but they're not actually moving. <laughs> you get the drift. Maybe. There is no long. There is no longer exorcism or even a battle. This is. A one-sided massacre. A predator feeding on its prey. Later. Blinding flames. Terrific screams. Choking odor. Dicky. Like a sticky grenade used by the Covenant. God, I hate the Covenant. <laughs> the sound of my heart pounding. If Sally hadn't been with me, I would have thought I was in the Inferno. Perhaps because of the blood red flames. Just for a moment, I could not help but think that. Brucey there was the true cannibal boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> name of the game. Name drop. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah, didn't he eat his boyfriend? Yeah, because I think he was tricked into it, because it's the twin sister. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Book and roll credits. <laughs> what? What are you? Didn't you hear, Jade? We're the ghost eaters. <laughs> no! no. Now, Lily and I don't have to worry about getting attacked in the middle of the night anymore. Still just, still just holding the head out here in the middle of the, in the fucking street. Yep. And no more villagers will be harmed. Thank you for protecting Lily and avenging me. How can I ever thank you properly? You still don't know how this works. You pay. 
Of course. How much do we owe you? Sally, you are what? Seven heads tall? I guess so? Why? Then I'll charge a seventh of the market price. Percy <laughs> showed Sally and Marty a cer certain number with his fingers. Ex excuse me. Is that some kind of twisted joke? I'm also kind of wondering how rich Lily is. My father is Elon Musk. Then <laughs> not very. <laughs> I've been cut off. Unfortunately. Yeah. Bruce is dead serious. Incense? He ins incense? He's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not doing incense that shit. <laughs> I wasn't saying that. That's what I thought you said. Lily's the is... billionaire of her game. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. He insists on only charging as much as he works. Again, this this is why we're so poor, and we're not playing the coffin of Andy and Layla yet. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well. This case was mildly interesting at least. I guess it's okay. If that's all you're- if that's all you're asking for, I can pay it right now. Brucey shoved three large bills at Lucy. Brucey shoved bills at Lucy. You're, you're giving me share of the profit? No, not your share. It's to cover your transportation fee. Now, as of this moment, we owe each other nothing. All right. We may, he may not be a good person. But he has principle. <laughs> it's like that meme of that Team Fortress 2 character. Our professionals got standards. <laughs> right? Oh, that's right, it's me. <laughs> if any of you ever need anything exercised, you know who to call. <laughs> I I hope we never have a need for that. Well, thanks for everything you've done for us. Take care, guys. <laughs> you too. Is Lucy just not going to mention the decapitated head? Probably not. Also, I'm getting the feeling that the solution ending has something to do with that door. Because Jade yeah. look at that door. And then spoke. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Had secret combo with boy. With Marty, Marty. Marty man. Yeah. I guess I won't have much of a reason to see them again. I should say a proper goodbye. Glad to have met you all. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to our aid. Lily, I hope you... <laughs> I hope you come to visit me a lot. Oh, that's Lily. I was thinking Sally. Or whatever her name is. Yeah. Or not Sally. The Lucy. There we go. Yeah. Uh oh. Of course. 
The thought of going to Marty's house alone makes me a little nervous. Jade, could I perhaps ask a favor of you? Oh, what is it? We, we, we don't get to see the favor? Okay. And thus ended my bizarre adventure. Nothing good really came of it. And I made my acquaintance with a couple... <laughs> ...of very odd individuals. But I must admit... forget for as long as I live later five minutes remaining what's more I am no longer the timid girl from two days ago I throw silverware at ghosts now oh my god as for Sally her situation is truly regrettable that's why I've decided it's my duty to provide her with hope. To give her more reasons for wanting to live. I think I'm capable of that now. I have to be. The happy ending. Millie's Bizarre Adventure. We never find out what the fucking favor is. I imagine we will after credits. Watch the epilogue of the happy ending. Yes. Yeah. One week later. Jade, Lily, here you go. Marty brought out two glasses of iced tea. Lillian leaves. Oops, right, Lillian. My Marty had this exercise the cannibal boy, didn't he? Do you have the axe so cold? Lily took a sip of, of iced tea and gave a frosty reply. I'm only here to visit Sally. I can't say I fully trust Marty yet, so I asked Jade to accompany me. That must be the favor. Uh. I plan to visit Sally a few times a month to help maintain her emotional stability. Come to think of it, where is Sally? She's just resting. I'll wake her up in a bit. <coughs> Until then, how about I bake you some cookies? Oh, then Sally actually taught you? Very well. Later. Oh, let me give you a quick tour first, though. This is the bathroom. The kitchen's that way. Feel free to check out any of, of the other rooms. Oh. 
One exception to, though, don't ever, ever open the door to my room. Got it? Ah, that's how we get the final ending. Ah. Oh, right. Sturdy. But in case we don't, if that's not, like, the actual ending, then I'm going to save here to be sure. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll look around to pass the time. What would happen if I immediately go for the door? Don't... There's other things around. But you have to read anyways. I can't exit There's out. something. <laughs> Sorry. Is there something in here he needs to hide? Like what? Photos of other girls? Oh, we can't even go into it yet. <laughs> oh. Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Oh, wait. These are Sally's sleeping pills. Is she still taking them? I don't think she would need to. Does Head have need of sleep? Hello, Polly Daly. Another victim found decapitated with body gone. With two dead and one girl still missing, is the body hunting killer still on the prowl? Police are considering the possibility of a copycat killer. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's Marty. Yeah, Marty's like. Marty's trying to reattach Lily's. Or. Her. Uh, not Lily. Fucking, uh. Why did I forget her name? Sally. Sally. Thank you. Trying to. Give Sally a new body. How can this be? Are there still evil spirits in the mountain? Did we fail to exercise the cannibal play? What are you looking at? Oh, it's her again. What? Why is that portrait here? Did the one I see at Sally's house have so many eyes, though? The eyes were always there. Couldn't you see them before? Like I said, you can at least count on this deity to hear your prayers. And see, Meowth really did reunite you with Sally. I must say, it's a bit different from the reunion I imagined. Lily stares at Nya. Nya! Oh my god. But in any case, I offer you my gratitude. Victory. And if it's not too much to ask... Please help Sally get a proper body soon. The next moment, something flashed through Lily's brain. That sounded like static, but also like words. Indeed, that can be arranged. Now I guess I have to go in here. I guess you have to talk to Marty. Marty is holding a kitchen knife, ready to chop up a big chocolate bar, but his hand is paused mid-air and he stares blankly ahead. Marty, are you thinking about Sally? Yeah. No, Nan, just wait a, a bit longer. I'll fill you up with the best cookies ever before you go. All right. Ah. Uh, 
I've seen everything there is to see. What should I do next? The only thing I haven't looked at properly is the door to Marty's room. I'd say bright, bright. I've already saved. I just have to reread everything again. Oh yeah, but you could just save time. But whatever. Yeah. Being told not to open this door makes me so furious. I'll just take a pee. Oh, it's with all the paintings of the other people. It's Sally. Is she sleeping? I see. I see. Marty said to not open the door so we wouldn't wake up Sally. She really is fast asleep. Perhaps she took her sleeping pills. Is she dead? Hmm. Uh, Are those framed photographs next to her? I should say, like, double dead. Yeah. Um. Oh, now we're getting a repeat of what happened in the extra case. Hold on. This is the victim who got decapitated. Why does Marty have her photo? What's the other photo? The other victim. Wait, wait. Could it be that it was Marty who killed them, not the cannibal boy? Did he take photographs of his targets and then wait for opportunities to kill them? Oh yeah, so this whole time the cannibal boy basically hadn't done anything except for attack Lily. Or I mean, other girl and Lily. Sally and Lily. So Marty's this entire time been trying to reconstruct a body for for fucking Sally. Yep. Did Marty copy the cannibal boy? Why would he do that? What's the final picture? But of course, he must want to find a body, a body for Sally. Who's it? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. The last photo is going to be Lily. Well, we'll see. Who's in the last photo? Yep. Eek! His final target is me? But why? Told you not to open the door to my room. Well, that's okay. Saves me the trouble of having to move your body. Are you insane? A body cannot be connected that easily. You've seen Sally. She's just a head, and she's alive. Common sense doesn't apply anymore. Do you actually think this is going to make Sally happy? Oh, don't worry. I drugged her. She'll have her new body before she wakes up, and she'll have no reason to be unhappy. You. When I try to connect the first body, the shoots of flesh from Sally's neck go straight into the stump of the corpse's neck, and it seemed like it would work. I expect there to be a compatibility issue. 
But after the second failure, oh. I realized it might be a blood type discrepancy. Yeah. So now you're targeting me. Because Sally and I both have B negative type blood. I'll do whatever it takes to fix Sally. Even it means getting my hands dirty. Where the fuck's Jade? In the other Where room. Does... Huh? Yeah. In nice. the other room, she's yeah. entirely aware of what's going on. Yeah. Marty slowly raised his hand to reveal the kitchen knife clutched in it. Be aware of your surroundings. You should be- wait, that's Willie. You should be aware of your surroundings. What? Lily hurled the photo frame in her hand at Marty's face as hard as she could. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm not going to die here. If Sally wakes up and finds I die because of her, the guilt will crush her. That's why I can't let him do this. All I have to do is run through this door and get out of this room. Except you're going to be stopped. Or knocked down. Oh wait, he drugged her. Huh? Why did I fall down? Why am I so dizzy? Good thing I set you some sleeping pills. The ice tea. What is going on with all this commotion? Hey. Help me. Oh, you're getting started already? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, sweet darling Lily. Who did you think told Marty your blood type? Why are you tell uh, why are you telling me this? It was you. L okay, listen. Here's a simple solution. Find a different person. Right. Uh. I thought I was your friend. How could you trick me like this? Oh yeah, but Lily said that she wasn't friends with her. Oh, you're a friend. A very dear one. That's exactly why I prepared this spotlight for you. Look, now you are the focus of this world. All the deities are watching you as you flower and bloom. Stop spouting nonsense. Or just steal it from a hospital? Well, no, the idea is that, like, they need a body that has, uh, B-negative blood. Yeah. Why did I do something to deserve this? I just want to save Sally. Why are you treating me like this? Marty turned Lily over and pointed the knife at her throat. Only because I want to save Sally too. Are you... Kidding me. Curse the both of you. If you cut my throat, I will cut yours. If you take my body, I will take yours. Even if I have to become an evil spirit, I will kill the two of you, I swear. I know an exorcist duo I can call if that happens. 
an evil spirit who cuts your throat and takes your body. Hmm. I have a feeling that the legend of the Campbell boy will live on for some time yet. The true ending. New Campbell boy. <laughs> That's the final ending, as far as I'm aware. Yep. Yay! I liked Lily. Which means this is definitely not the end of the series. Probably. It's probably going to be case four. Yeah, I'd imagine at this point. And I feel like the case four is going to be I hope it, with case four, we play as Lily and get revenge. But I doubt it. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah. Oh, wait, what? Let's get started. Oh. A cult club gathering four fatal stories. Oh my gosh, we are we actually going to be playing as Lily? Oh my gosh, we are. Could it be a different timeline or something else? It may be like the extra case where it's in the past. Maybe. Lily, I will never forget you. I have never forgotten any of the friends I had and lost. Oh, Nya. Was this show worthy of your satisfaction? Honestly, it wasn't bad. I can't talk for the other deities. But I was entertained at the at least. And this world doesn't bore the deities yet. More importantly, you passed. What? <laughs> I know of a world where you can best make use of your talents. It's time for a reincarnation. I don't know, so the next game will be... Oh, watch the trailer for Peacemaker Bloody Emperor. Wait, is she gonna be in that game? <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to find out. Oh, it's gonna be a lot different from the other games we've been playing as. Well, yeah, that, that's kind of like, this is like a JRPG style thing that's like fantasy rather than... Oh my gosh, Mind Reader Jade! Yes, <laughs> she is oh, gonna be in that game! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she just got the Isekai! <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Or she just have blood and looks like she's judging you so i guess she's not in this story anymore <laughs> it would be funny if we replayed the game and she's just missing that would be pretty funny <laughs> yeah hold on